an important decider for the AI. Female presenting nipples! <laughs> so, where we last left off, you all had been sent private letters. I'm not acknowledging any of these. Hey, YouTube! We are, uh, oh my god, how long have you, have you been recording? About five minutes now. <laughs> Iconic. Alright, I'm done. We go now. We uh -huh. go now. So, but just about enough time to hear that I would plant my booted foot right up Dom's ass. No, mm. that part was actually not in here yet. Damn okay. it! Well, now it is! Now it is! What he now said. he knows I'm threatening oh, him. Oh, good. He's he's powered up by his nap. Got it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Zoomy, uh, Zoomy's violent savior. So let's, let's go. Let's finish my recap. You all yep. have all been uh, individually contacted by your former party member, Jace Whitleaf, that, uh, with instructions in the case that he has lost contact with his tower and requested your aid, as well as one random mercenary who was recruited. There's also a Golg shaman who guarded the box with all your reagents and has been sent along with you. You all oh. have cleared through two levels of Whitleaf Tower. You have entered in from the, uh, the sub-root structures below the lowest part of the tower, met some horrible shadow creature thing that beckoned that it would get, take you all in the end, promptly scattered up, uh, or spread it, skittered up to the power generation level, also the portal room, reestablished the link to the infinite foundry, um, chased a skull lord upstairs into the laboratory and were not able to find him, turned off the chemical defense system, uh, Gruck achieved g literal godhood, um, Skolo has been doubled in size after you all went up to the forge area, still no skull lord found, uh, presumed of course. dead. Um, I mean, I, I I feel like we knew he was dead before because he. I mean, he's a skull lord. Like there. True. True. Presumed re dead. There we go. Fair enough. He Fair was enough. undead. Now he's re dead. Presumably. Presumably. So the lasting chaos effects for those keeping track are that now Gruck is tied to the plane of pandemonium. Um, yep. Skolo's uh, diminutive potion, using a bit of Merlin beard has had part of its chaos juice siphoned away and absorbed by Gruck, causing him to double in size. Uh, Skolo to double, that is. There is Thank a you. supernatural chaos storm that it lasts for four months above the tower. Yep. And technically Skolo has a coughing fit until sunrise, but I don't want to say that because I don't want Shane to ruin his throat to be coughing for the rest of the one shot, or two shot, three shot, four. Anyway. So, as we pick up, you all have just slain a uh, hulking nightmare. I forget the actual name of the thing. It was a CR-20 monster that you all just waffle stomped. Uh, and now you all have got to figure something out. As Skolo is too big to climb up these stairways you've gone up, and there's an elevator, but there's going to come a point where Skolo's 4x4 four four to token is probably going to be too big to slither in places. Because rules is written, he can only squeeze into a place that can fit a huge creature. And anything smaller than that is just too small for him now. So, um? Okay, that's does anybody really know bad. what do? Um, I think I do. But it lasts a minute. <laughs> okay, so maybe we just use that when we need... When he needs to travel someplace. Mm -hmm. I would also like to remind you all that the of the six major traps you all were told about, you have disabled one after turning on power, and there exist uh, five more, one of which you never got the a description on what it was. But uh, you still have to un to deactivate the wild magic actuator, the sleeper vines, a quote special egg, uh, and the radiant energy magnetic system. I thought we had deactivated the sleeper vines. Had you? I couldn't remember if you turned one off on this yeah, level or not. We, we, well, we did. I, I remember we got two down. You yeah. Got chemical defense. Okay, then I, if you say you got sleep vine, I'll believe you because I don't remember what was on this level. 
Don't worry, we'll go back over the recording right I know now. We got... watch... <laughs> I actually can go back over that later. So uh, if you're lying, I will. We got, all the, we got the little shifty Tanagram key one, and then we got the colored light magnifying glass one. Yes, so the Arcana Cross turned on the generator, which gave power to this place where you could use the elevators. And the other one turned off the chem, the chem defenses. Okay, oh, so my. one of them wasn't disabling a trap, it was enabling the power. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Letting you All get right. to places and turning off basically super lockdown in my Okay. Minds. So you all see off screen, we'll consider it, what looks to be like a, imagine like a giant leaf, like um, like dinosaur era giant leaves that you see in movies, sitting on the ground Gnarly. with a stem that extends up into the wall with some sort of mechanical implements attached to the stem. Not stem. I forget the actual term. I guess it'd be a branch. I don't. I should know this. There's also seems it, to be some sort of control panel and apparatus on the leaf, as well as some guardrails. And you think it might be some sort of rudimentary plant tech elevator. Fascinating. Would you all like to ascend? Yes. Okay. You've amassed a small fortune from the uh, vault, and I didn't know if there's anything you wanted to look for on these levels. As there is shit everywhere because Jace is smart, but organization is hit or miss. <laughs> Not as Brick would like to look around for anything worth selling. Give me an investigation check. I mean, there are heaps of money as well. Well, you, you already told me I'm with. only allowed to take a certain amount, which yeah. is absolute bullshit. Well, I mean, it's as much as your bags can carry. Gold is heavy. Only yeah. 3,000 gold pieces. Yeah, that's so much. For a peasant, yes. Um, go ahead and roll me an investigation check to hunt for things. Because there are, uh, like, uh, art pieces and things in there. 14. Or if you're going to give me advantage, 22. Unless in it, somebody's helping you. Or <laughs> to use his... No. Okay. Oh, you dick. Anybody going to help? Meh. Saving it for special. Apparently time. not. I'm just SOL. Uh, yep. Yeah, I yeah. just don't know if Navaya would be helping look for shit to sell when she's still trying to find. Like, Liv wants to help Norvin, but I don't know if. Okay, fair. Rock with a 14. Rock will manually help you, though. Oh, okay. Oh, if you'll manually help him, that's fine. Uh, uh, there we go. Great. Can I help you? I'll, I'll rob the Whitley. Uh, as you're doing other things, uh, you, Gruck, you, you've just developed a um, a sixth sense of, for ma sensing magic. You do the thing kind of like snakes do where they blep their tongue out, but yours is a full-on frog tongue that just kind of sticks out and then like a uh, hovers there and just kind of like turns up and down and turns towards stronger magic auras. And it ends up gravitating towards this small ring in the uh, gold piles, and you have found a ring of spell storing. I, I, the, the, the ring is in my mouth. Do you swallow? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Rock. Rock, rock. <laughs> okay. So this is now covered in chaos slod slime uh, spell storing ring. The effects of which are unknown, as you see the slime is absorbed into the ring. And it, the little creases and runes now glow with the same chaotic miasma that Gruck spells have. Okay, I, have uh, a, I have I have I have a blip face on spell storing. Yeah, that's super useful slime. for the fighter, right? Yeah, it's a powerful. Item. You know, Brent, I just noticed something. Mm -hmm. When that slot makes its weird rock rock noises, sounds a lot like Oscar. <laughs> I put it down as ring of spell storing slad juice. Yep. We'll see if that becomes a relic next campaign. Anyway. Dark if that just goes in my pocket, I'm not putting it on. Oh, by all means, I wouldn't put it on my hands for any amount of money. All right. So, you all go oh. over to the elevator and start to shift it. Um, have, do any of you all have any uh, expertise with working artifice or tinkers tools? <laughs> no. Nope. no. Interesting. Check. Uh. Make me a general intelligence check. Whoever the one person who wants to try and operate this thing is, then. Yes! Also, welcome, Shane. I go. Oh my god. God damn it. So, Gruck. Um, 
you walk over and you're trying to reach it and you are too short. It, it's built for you to pull down a particularly creature. large lever. <laughs> well, at least you didn't fuck it up. No, remember, I'm a small creature, Connor. Yeah, yeah. You will hear like a uh, like a forklift backing up. You hear a beep, beep, beep. Just is filling the chamber and it is stone walls so it's very echoey and it is an unpleasant sensation and pretty much anything around you all can hear that you all are f fucking with the elevator yeah. Yeah, i'm too fat just trying to reach up and grab on this lever this would you, would you, would uh, you brick stop will go over in there and assist all right give me another Br one Br Br gonna, <laughs> gonna start spraying ah! gonna start spraying Grunk. stop just randomly pulling levers <laughs> Give me another check. With advantage, because Brick has decided to help you. Okay, I guess Brick will try. Just intelligence. Hail the intelligent savior. Why uh, is it a plus five? You also save. Very oh, what? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I put it. Okay. Uh, that's actually not my intelligence score, so I don't know if you want me to roll, Just roll, roll again. again. Ah, uh, just Never like right. his, uh, just like his flock. <laughs> you you switch another left, and you're like, I think I got it. I've I've worked in tools. I got this. You confidently hit a button, and it doesn't move for a second. Brick, you go over and turn the key to turn on the machine. Thank God for and Brick. Lift the uh the lever that Gruck pulled down to lift you all up. I look I look at the Titan Scolo. <laughs> Yeah, Skolo, the thing goes much slower with you on it, and for a moment you're afraid it's going to snap under your weight. I mean, I, I can try, I, if you want, I can try and put you back down at a proper size. That's a D10,000, my friend. Well, That's up to Connor. I, 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 I was just offering to fill you with... It is, um, you are currently still a 50% chance that your spells go wild and do fuck all. So... Beep. You all get up to the foyer. I'm not hearing any negatives. The foyer. The foyer. The, the foyer. Um, the the yep. lahayam. <laughs> so, I just went and placed out Bryn's Yorkin. Bury the grok deep with it. You shrunk! So, we can't have that. Fwomp. Oh. <laughs> so on this level this is the place where the tower is normally entered into um, you see the large door is very much reinforced on this side you see multiple triangles lean to to block the door from being ba battered in uh, you also hear a weird sound coming from the other side of the door does anybody like to place their ear to it and try and listen to what's happening on the other side uh, what, what door where the it's not really shown on the map, but there. imagine there is a large blast door that leads to the outside. We'll say... Whoops, not drawing. We'll say it's here. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I, I'm already there. Um, I, I'll, I'll stick my my, 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 fro, my frog hole ear. Make a perception it. check. Also, a nice square aura, Bryn. Um, square... Let's fix that. You're on oh. your own, sir. This can only end in tears. I like to think I just stick my eyeball through it, through it. like a heel. Oh. So frogs don't have ear. In you know, Brent, it doesn't hit these corners over here. But it's thirty feet away. No, it's not. It's thirty feet out from like your up, down, left, and right, and then it's a circle. B A B A. But, mm -hmm. uh, Gruck, you hear the sound. Of uh, for a second, and you can't make it out at first. And then you think, "Hang on, that's the sound of my people. They've crossed the older. minefield." <laughs> after shutting Let down the chemical them defense, after you've cr shut down the chemical defense system, the regenerative minefield has also been shut down, and the Gruck have figured it out, or the Gaul rather have figured it out, and are damn it to besiege the tower, and they are currently beating against the door to try and break it down. A, a, a tear rolls down about my slimy face. I'm so proud of my people. You Let hear, them die! You hear somebody say, Bring forth the heavy artillery! Oh shit! <laughs> I, I Bring turn out around. Bring the holy hand grenade of Antioch! 
Damn, yep. breaking out the secret weapon, for, uh, great savior. <laughs> don't don't let them break the whole tower down. We still have to get Jace out of here. Do you I want your people to live to see tomorrow? Because Jace I is I want to live to see tomorrow. I don't want to. I don't want to crash into a fucking. We did tower. steal a lot of artillery from the dwarves. You all do think for a moment about the way the Golg are firing. They're trying to blast this door down, and it might take part of the tower. And if you've ever seen a tree falling, you're chopping one side, and it bends that way and falls towards it. And you realize there's a yeah. significant chance that the Golg will destroy themselves if they topple this tower. Which is almost Let considered them worth die! it. Except some might live. <laughs> Can That's I open the door? <laughs> you were to kill later. <laughs> so, on this level, you all do hear something like a crocodile's, like a guttural uh, snarl lurking around the corners. I see. Uh, <laughs> Just be quiet. What? I'm Would going... you all like to try and hide from the things? I fear no monster. Yeah, not in the presence of my god. I don't know how I would ever hide from anything. Fill up an entire room and coil up. Yeah, Brick's not much of a hider either. Um, okay. He'll it, stand there in T-pose and pretend like he's n not seen. There is another elevator, not pictured, but eh, fuck it, I'll do a freehand drawing. because. It'll be... uh, can, can I cast Mage Armor be real, real quick? Because... Uh, me, 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 me keeps forgetting to to cast it. Yeah, I just assumed you had it cast already before you got here. I've had it cast none of the time so far. <laughs> I always just assume that casters go into the day like that. But I haven't been rolling for the, the uh, for it if I have, because I so I haven't. <laughs> I mean, now that you're in here, if you want to cast it, yeah, you're gonna have to give me a check. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Here's your elevator. All right, so what do I need, I need to roll? D one hundred. Uh, yeah. If it's above, if it's above fifty, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Wait, no. Last time we did it, if it was above, it was fine, right? I don't. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> we have receipts. You re yes, rewind. Re I'm going back and checking what? people's D hundreds. What uh, it was? I think it was the low ones that got the that. Got the fucking bad thing. Gotcha. Okay. So Alright, so fine. I... Mage armor goes I'm fine. On. Yeah. Uh, Bryn... Uh, well... I, I'll, I'll introduce you all to this monster as you didn't hide. Uh, Great. Allow me to move them as they come out from around the corners. Uh, there are... Flanking on both sides these horrible creatures. And some sort of metallurgic uh, creation as well. <laughs> Puppies. Are they? Are they? Crocodilian. They're puppies. They are. Cartilids. They have like the crocodile body of being the way they their hands form that quadrupedalness, but you can see the way those are their heads. That horrible, horrible folding. You see the red viscera of their inside that veins out. Uh huh. And as they look at you, that maw <coughs> opens like the demogorgon from Stranger Things. And, or the Excellent. creatures from uh, a quiet place, and it vibrates and looks towards you all with it. Puppies. Okay. Looks and... like it's about to attack us. Yeah. Connor has told me all I need to know. But right. by comparing it like to, to two different monsters. And attack it. Uh, no. I'm actually going to uh, put this one in your all's journal because it has a whole like uh, concept art thing that I used. Mm hmm. That's oh, oh, fucking awesome. Uh-huh. Yep. Potter, I know exactly is this, is this, what I'm going to try. Is this what this is? Is, is it the same thing? Is this a what? <laughs> Radiant Leech. Oh, interesting. So the name did appear. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. 11 temporary health. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's an Iron Golem. Okay. Yeah. It's the stock photo for an Iron Golem. Um, then I guess I used to, to, uh, the Iron Golem stock photo uh, for my thing, huh? Neat. Brick, Gruck, Bryn, Skull up. I do. That was the first time I flipped it. Harry the Frog deep within. One, two, right. three, four, five. Okay, that's everyone. So, starting with Nevaeh, you're up first. Okay. 
you've told me all I need to know to at least give it a try. Oh no, EXU. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes, Connor. It just hit me. I didn't no. even have to tell you. It just I hit me. I want to put it on its back. No. No. If you put it on its back, it gets paralyzed. If you put it on, if you put an alligator or a crocodile no. on its back for like 10, 10 to 30 seconds, it gets paralyzed and it can't move. I, I'm a fool. It's real. Go ahead. It's I'm... real. Liam looked it up and everything. I'm gonna charge forward to this bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Let me check something real quick. I am back. Mm, welcome back. <gasps> back. <Backwards>. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna use a bonus action to activate. My, uh, I'm, I'm gonna use a bonus action to activate my symbiotic armor. Yeah, what? <laughs> and then I want to try and flip it. Do the skull of a, a, uh, a really <laughs> hard athletics check convert con contesting like a grapple nope. is what we're doing basically. Yes, yes. Quick, uh, do the Celadon voice. Oh flip no! That bitch, flip that bitch. Flip that. Oh bitch. my god! Flip that motherfucker. Yes! <laughs> Instead of that bitch, flip the car. So as you grow giant grin slime biceps, you grab this thing by the throat and just <laughs> this thing is flipped and considered grappled. Flip them on the back! They can't move! It, it, its legs are flailing in the air, unable to get grip uh, traction. It is trying to smack its tail on something to push against and topple it over, but you are holding it on its back, unable to let it tip one way or another. I have to tweet Amy Carrero! <laughs> I am only in pain. Uh, Bria, <laughs> I, am gone. I am so sorry you had to do this. And I feel worse for the fact that this is now a staple in tactics. Is it, oh, is it a gator creature? Okay. Do dragons be considered? Was it a gator body? creature? Flip it. Yeah. Do dragons count? Oh, yeah, sure. Put them on their back. They're, they're out. Yeah. Ancient Tiamat? No, just put her on her back. She's done. Uh, put her on her back. Is that it? Yep. The iron golem is going to approach you, Brick. And, and it gets uh, back it up by a couple feet, by five feet. There. And let's see if I hit. Oh God, I forgot about this. Do I hit? No. no. Oh. It has an AC of twenty. All right, then it, it can take it. It can approach me. Uh huh. And as you do that, yeah. Oh, you're approaching. I didn't hit. I didn't. Uh oh. This and is gonna hurt. You see a uh, sword hand in one and a giant fist in the other. You know, huh, yeah. This um, is gonna hurt! Uh, this is the first one. 19 to hit. Hit. Uh, okay. 16 damage. And then... Oh, that this one, I, the sword actually has reach and can hit you from before. So it'll strike you with the sword as you swing at it. It returns fire with a sword. 16 <laughs> Can I use... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why, yes. Uh, I'm assuming 16 doesn't hit. No, that misses. Yeah. So you hit with the 16 bludgeoning from its punch. Uh, and just kind of makes For like the Reggie Gigas noises. Thanks, friend. And it is considered magical weapons. Uh, all right, uh, Skolo, you cannot fit down that hallway. Fuck. Not even noodling through it. No, it's a large size hallway. <clears throat> and then I could fire a spell down him. Yeah, well. I also will end up fucking myself with wild magic if I do a spell. Possibly. Yours are only twenty five percent though. It's only Gruck who has to deal with the fifty fifty. Cause he's already got a twenty five percent chance. And when it, the actuator is turned off, it will just go wild in addition to doing his spells. That's just a thing that was already baked into the one shot. So, what would you Can like to do? reach that golem from over Brick's head? Uh, do you have something that reaches 15 feet? Uh, I guess not. Then, no. Ah, uh, fuck. 
You can also, if you have any ideas, to try and MacGuffin your way back down to size. MacGuffin! 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 I can do anything to my size other than get bigger. I'll Hello? say, the way I'm thinking of it is you've got a little Merlin beard hair battery inside of you that's been slightly depleted by chaos magic. However you decide to recharge it is up to you. Oh, after I mm. put this spell into my sheet a second time and hoping it works. Nope. My... What spell? Sheet metal. Ah, on the fire golem? Or the iron golem? Yes. Alright, so let me uh, show you a neat ability. Um... So, as you do it, it it has buffs and scratches that are immediately healed by the presence of the fire damage. It doesn't take any damage, so while you're figuring it out, it just yeah. back to tip top. So it would heal up 11 health. That's what Pyro wishes he had done with that one thing with the metal pike attached to its hand. The metal, not metal pike, but the metal flail, the spiky yeah. ball. So, mm. it, that's, that's your action, Bryn. <clears throat> yes. Get him, Savior! Yay! Is this thing considered prone since it's flipped over? Or... Yes, uh, it is. Er, well, yeah, it's prone. <laughs> it's dead. I'm so proud. I am in pain. You should have known better, you fool! How dare I say the word crocodile? <laughs> I would have asked if you had said alligator as well, though. Yeah, okay, so that's a crit. Um, yeah, it is. Are you doing... Uh... You can do it to fire damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fire damage. Mm -hmm. Behold the power of, of a utility paladin given crits. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn, he rules crits like I pull up Murloc's counter. How's it feel? Uh, let's see, it's 24 and 7... Uh. God damn it, I was like, I was trying to look for my smite macro, but I don't have it. You don't have it, you had a week to fix that. Are you going to smite? Because these things are a bit of HP tanks. Yeah, I'm going to smite. It's is very sad that I don't have my button to do it automatically. I assume this thing's not undead or... Uh, uh, no, it is mean. a monstrosity. Okay. Not a construct? Interesting. No, this thing is a horrible flesh amalgamation. Oh, it's it specifically created uh, by Jace. Ah, go ahead. God damn it, Jace. That we are going to send you damage. into such intensive therapy. No, please. No. All right. Uh, that's considerable chunk is now missing off of it as you knock off one of the mouth fronds. Okay, now it's time for two more attacks. Mouth fronds. <laughs> Again! Hit. Do it again! Hit. That's 22 on the first one. And that's 18, 24 on the second one. It's bloodied. HP tank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Level 20. Feel my maybe. pain, Connor. Yeah, Feel my pain. These things have health akin to, I think, your chaos bosses because of number. Well, mm -hmm. a little bit less, like 75% of a chaos boss, but pain. Only pain. Anything else? Feel my pain. Yeah, <laughs> I felt it. Anything else, Brent? No. Get Gruck. I've thought long and hard about what I should do. I immediately thought of buffing the Fire Savior with a haste spell. Oh, you should do that. Do it. But he doesn't need my help. I'm a lowly servant of his. I must bring up his other weaker, path more pathetic uh, companions to his level. Or as close as they can mortally be. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm going to cast haste on the fighter. <laughs> what do you say? Except, except Connor. I am what we call a sorcerer. So you're twins I'm going to twin spell it. Alright, let's see if that actually happens. Roll me your D100. Yeah, I will. Chaos, 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 chaos! Oh, yeah, that definitely goes off. Yeah! Chaos, so, chaos! Now I have to decide. You're going to twin the spell, so does that twin the chaos? No, it doubles it. 
Is it, oh wait, what? We'll figure yeah. it out. Roll me a d10,000. Chaos, chaos. If it's a light one, I'll have you roll again. If it's a big one, I'll say it subsumes both. Ah. Uh, 5430. Okay. God. Yeah! Uh, these, this table is fun. Uh, oh no. Oh, you do, do you wear shoes? Yes, sure. Shoes? I, 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 wear, I wear slippers. Uh, you might want to take <laughs> oh, them off shoes. because you cannot be wounded by metal weapons while barefoot now. For what the say, fuck? Why is he just becoming That's invincible? Iconic. For an hour. <laughs> As, as as my bonus action, I kick off my my, my slippers. <laughs> you suddenly see as his body takes a metallic shine to it as soon as his shoes come off. <laughs> I'm being buffed before the raid. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll me another D100 to see if the second one goes sur surged. That's how we'll determine this. Mm. No, so the other one does get hasted. Who gets hasted? Who was the other target? Pyro. Fire. No, he was him and someone else. Okay, well then the Pilot Savior, the Pilot. Ah, so that was the person you were twinning it on, okay. Yeah. I was going off the order you said originally, so uh, Bryn, suddenly I have to smack this thing. I who, 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 who he prioritizes, but... You, okay. You'd only said fight it first, then someone else, so I went off that list. Bryn, you are now considered hasted. As you strike the uh, Radiant Leech, you suddenly, time's going in slow-mo, and energy arcs around your body. You look back and you see, and you, and you see Gr uh, and Grok doing a JoJo pose. <laughs> Doom Slayer music is playing. The leeches can finally go. Um, how long? Do, how far are we? Are you within 120 feet of this? You are. Uh -huh. You will suddenly feel Bryn's aura disappear. Uh oh. As it opens its frond and inhales deeply, you see the energy is absorbed, and is now emanating off the leech. Fuck. Uh oh. Uh, so your aura gives a uh, plus five still, right? To save. To save. Yeah. And the uh, armor bonus. And the temp hit point. The yeah, arm that's what I mean. Yeah. The yeah, temp that... HP. No. That, 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 has, is... that happens at the start of the turn, though, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. get it this right. turn. So it doesn't have it now, but no one is refreshing those now. That's if um, it gets another turn. That is a fair point. Um... So that happens just naturally. That's not an action. That's just a thing it does. Great. Uh, that's how it's, that's how it Dude. came out. It smelled paladin aura. Do um, both of them get it, or just the one? The the well, the one uh, on the top side has it. Okay. Uh, only one. The one who's on his back is trying not to get fucking murdered. Um, Too late. <laughs> screaming, crying. Uh, he is going to attempt to strike you, Navaya, with a bite and a stinger. The one near you, obviously. Um, he has disadvantage! 21. Bites of chaos. Nope. <laughs> 22 piercing. As it oh, bites that... its thing around your arm. And uh, you take... Uh, larger, smaller. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. As he's trying to pull you in. I'm holding it down. I know. I know. Ah. Even my aura would not have saved you. No, it would not have. So suddenly, you see Nevi's holding it down and go, I got him! And then Lady in the Tramp style, the, the slime on her arms gets sucked in and her along with it. Its mouth is now big. Oh, help! Get Jesus, up. hold on. Get up. And it's going to stinger out. you. Brent. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I forgot to add the temp HP from Celadon. I have to go do that real quick. Okay. Do I need I to stop the combat, combat or? No. Okay. It will not take long. Uh, and against you, Brynn, does 20 hit. Nope. Because I'm hasted, baby! God damn it. Oh, so hell! It swings its tail over to get you. And by the way, the damage on that would have been that. Um, Good thing we're immune to poison. Yeah, are you? You uh, are fucking no. immune. Wait, where does it say he? Oh, well, here. All poison. <laughs> Damn, Connor, get cucked. Yep. I, I'm feeling it. Uh, the oh, other geez. radiant leech is going to <laughs> throw its tail stinger. Nope, it does not throw them. They are only reach. Cool. Uh, let's see. It's going to side. 
Hmm, can he move up and take an attack and go back? I don't remember. Rules on passing enemy or passing allies. I think he can attack and move back. Right, as long as he doesn't end his turn yes. conflicting spaces. Yeah, uh, you you can uh, attack, move, and a an attack. Okay, so he's going to step forward and make a bite and tail stinger at you, Brick. Eighteen and yes. twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. I took twenty-two damage. Stinger into your abdomen, and the poison goes into you and is negated by the hero's feast, and it staggers back. Now it's your turn, Brick. Your reaction comes back. <laughs> Fucking ow! Uh, I have four attacks. Yes. Mm -hmm. One. That hits the two, golem. That hits the golem. Three. That hits. Four. That hits. The golem should be one step closer to me, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, How's it looking? Let me subtract those real quick. And there's this. This is a magical weapon. Yes. Yeah, minus eleven. Minus fifteen. Minus fifteen. Minus twelve. It's just, it's just you did some damage. Uh, I will say you all have divided the ideal way because you may have noticed that this thing's fire problem and the magnetic and the radiant thing is kind of fucking up Brynn and he's nowhere near it. Grip just starts <laughs> flossing. Action church. <laughs> Oh, good. Do you have you have? Oh, yeah. This is your last one. One. Oh, miss. Seventeen misses. Hit. Yep. That hits. Hit. That hits. And hit. It has an AC of twenty, so you, yeah, I can yeah, figure. I'm it out. going to use my back end attack. Oh no, no, hold on. That's a bonus uh, action. Yeah, I'm checking something real quick. I'm going to use my second wind instead. Uh, okay. That is a bonus action as well. So you do that, and that's your turn. Nevaya. That's a D10 plus 20. Woo! This thing, oh, you are in this thing's mouth, uh, Nevaya. Now uh, You're yep. considered blinded and restrained. You're held in the maw trying to fight out. Uh, it's a grapple check to a stick ape, I think. Ah, no. Yes. I think, something like that. Uh, small, <laughs> small creature from my mind. Okay, so you take at the start of the worm at the start of its turn, you will take sixty six acid damage, oh, or you can just do a bunch of damage mm. to the inside of it, and ha and it will upchuck you. Interesting. This is free anyway for me because of an evocation that I took. Oh God! Please don't. No. Is that, is that what you're doing? Yes, and it doesn't say it takes an action, so I'm going to use Trickster's Escape to cast Freedom of Movement on myself. Oh. Goop slides out. How did... I imagine that you just kind of become <laughs> so slime and seep out of the mouth. that means that I spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints, such yep. as manacles or a creature that has it grappled. That'll work. You, I, I imagine this works as you just kind of going full slime boat for a second. Just dripping yeah. out of its mouth and reforming. Just surprise, motherfucker! Surprise! You've never motherfucker. seen before. Now, if it's the invocation then... that you cast it, you do still have to cast the spell, so it will still take your action or okay. bonus action, whatever freedom movement costs. Uh, let's see what that is. One action. Yeah, one action. <laughs> So what do you want to do with my bonus action? Hmm. Hexblade's curse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh? Hexblade's curse? You're not a hexblade. I'm not a hexblade. That's so why. Celadon is my patron. Correct. It's not blade. Um. Yeah, basically. I have a. I have a. Let me see. What is your bonus action? What is your bonus action? Hmm. Hmm. If you don't have anything, I'll move on. No, I'll just inspire Bryn real quick and be like, uh, or no, who, oh no, I'll, I'll inspire Brick is over there yeah. with the aura thing and I'll go, Brick, get the gator on its back and don't let it swallow you. <laughs> so, uh, you are Mark. inspired Brick. I think those are D12s now, right? Oh my god. Oh no, they're not. Yeah. They're still D8s because I'm oh, still yeah, I'm, I'm right. only a level 6 bard. It doesn't matter. I'm only level 6 in bard, so it's a D8. Uh, 
still good. Um, yeah. The golem's turn. Uh, it's going to. Uh, what the, what the, oh. Hmm. They are notoriously dumb. Did it notice that you all were not? No, it did not notice that you all were immune to the poison. Uh, <laughs> Get stupid. It shoots out a, a poison cone spray, and you all just kind of breathe it in. And it ah! Oh no! Our table! Mm-hmm. It's broken! It is now registered it, but I think that's fair in a creature with a three intelligence to not pick up on it. Yeah, that seems pretty damn fair. Skolo, yeah. you, you, this thing now looks upset that you are immune to its poison breath. <clears throat> so, first off, I will try to use... Hold on. Please be in range. Aha, fuck you. I'll try to use Blight Ooh. on the damn crab A con thing. save, alright. Plus, uh... Oh, I said crab, six legs. Okay, so here's con save. Plus Bryn's aura brings that up to a 22, oh, right? That one stole his aura too? No, just the top one, that's what I said. Or were you doing it to the bottom one? You all can see the aura around it, right? Yeah. No. The top uh, one, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Bryn yeah. also has his fucking aura. Uh, I thought the bottom one stole his aura. No, I said it was the top one. That's why I turned the aura on so you all could see. Uh, Would you like to change targets knowing that? Yes. Okay, so targeting the bottom one, same stats. It does not get a plus five. A 17 fails. And it would take uh, 35 necrotic. Don't count the fucking huge damage, right? Yeah, don't count that. That's only for melee. And speaking of melee, I'm hitting this fucking golem in the head. <laughs> Boom. That is magic? Yes. Okay. Since my mutations are basically permanent. At level yeah! Five, hateful. So I always have Truly it. hateful. Um, Alright. Go on. Um, hey guys, I gotta be right back. Uh, okay. Bryn, the one near you is on is staggering, uh, degenerating body health. Can't swallow the thing a bit. It's not having a good day, and I think you're about to make it worse. Do it. Wreck it. Shit. Nineteen hit. Yep, it has an AC of eighteen. About to make it better because it's gonna make it end. Put it on its back. Okay. Uh. Divide, did you give me an inspiration, or did you give someone else that? Brick. Yeah, I gave hey, it to yeah. Brick in the end. Yeah. Because I was telling Brick to put it on its back. You are hasted, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Ten. No, oh, no. no. What the heck? So three. Uh, Skull of Luck passed on to you. Um, you have an extra attack from haste, I believe. Yeah. That is what that was. Oh, right. So you've done all your attacks. Only the first one hit, sadly, and I thought you were going to get it. All right. Yep. Uh, I do have bonus action. Oh, okay. Get that third attack before was a bonus action, because I crit. Right, right, right. That's why I thought. Okay. Uh, but all spells, so uh, fuck that. I'm not doing that. Okay. Uh, Grok, uh, your violent savior is uh, spinning like a Beyblade into the reach down south, and there are two enemies up north. What are you doing? Well, I would like to deformly uh, admit that I have unintentionally fucked myself in, in regards to spamming chaos, because 98% of my spells are concentration. <laughs> and I dare not besmirch the violent savior. By, by making him lose a turn. Cantrip time! So, so I'm going to walk over. So waddle, waddle, waddle. Reminded that cantrips thing. don't surge. Yep. Look at this thing. Fucking dares. Uh, the south one? Yeah, the south one. Alright, roll your attack. I am trying to hustle through these so we have time for the rest of the campaign. Or Refresh. One yeah, that'll hit. Uh, yeah! 
<laughs> Fuck you. Going through all the things. Oh, oh. Not happy. Not happy at all. Yeah, and then I, I ask Skitter on over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, their turn. Uh, it's going to try and bite Bryn now. The one I'm starting down south. It's going to do both of its attacks against Bryn because it hurts bad. Uh, Twenty and nope. Both of those miss. His right. faith is his shield. <laughs> Plus fourteen. Motherfuck. Uh, and I'm back. The one up north is going Welcome to back. waddle down. Is going to attempt to bite Brick. 22 to hit, Brick. That hits. Boom. You are swallowed by the leech. As There's no dex save to stop it? Save? Right, sorry, dex save, my bad. So you take 26 piercing immediately. I need a dexterity save to resist being swallowed. You're inspired! Oh, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, and you have a D8 inspiration if you'd like to use it. Well... Okay. In indomitable. Indomitable, okay. Indomitable! 17, that's close. Would you like to use D8? Yep. Have a D8 of inspiration? Yep. Yeah! Crosses the threshold. As it's getting its teeth wrapped around you and you see the muscles starting to fold and trying to pull you in, you shove it to the side and its mouth flaps close back. Um, Plant my fucking feet. And then it's going to try and jab you with a tail stinger because fuck you. 25. Did it get within 10 feet of me? Yes. Well, the 25 hits, but I need I get to take my... Uh... Go ahead. Reaction hit. 26. Oh, you're approaching me. 17 damage. Yep. And then I take 19. Uh -huh. Damn, that poison. And technically, it can't move, so now it's yep. got to shove around with those. Yeah. Because so its movement is now zero. It's stuck there, and I'm I'll just decrease the movement speed of both the creatures it got stuck by. Um, then it's your turn. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I pretty much just have to sit here and fucking get the shit beat out of me. It's my job. <laughs> it's what I brought on for. Hey, the golem's okay. starting to look hurt. Golem. So, Both 23. Hit. Um, oh. Oh, shit roll for the crit, though. Yeah. <laughs> and one more. 30 does also hit. With 18 extra damage. All right, it's it will probably not. Survive I'm doing around 50 damage <laughs> each huh? time I go at it. Wait a minute. Oh, oh and uh, my half hit. Oh, never mind. Which it, hold on, I gotta look up the damage on that D4. again. That's a D4. I'm pretty sure you said yeah. it's just a D4. Yeah, there you go. Three more. Yeah. So there are now wires and things splay falling out of the chest of this iron golem, and you see it's like beating animatronic heart inside as it's trying to get a hey grip and fight you nevaya okay so this one here's the i sure fucking hope it does so it's like crawling away <laughs> the first thing i'm going to do which will take my action but it will be worth it is i'm gonna use my 14th level ability with Celadon to activate enhanced biomass manipulation mm -hmm. with my symbiotic armor <laughs> for Meaning. amplify mass. Meaning? Oak smash. <laughs> I'm gonna get big! Are you pushing Bryn up north or south when you grow? Uh, south. Okay. Yeah, so that yeah. we can both hit it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot perfect. grapple it because that was my action. But <laughs> I'm blocking its way out, so there is no escape. Yeah, and like... the next turn, if I'm able to grapple something, I'll have advantage on it. <laughs> it's like two legs in the front are the only ones working, and it's crawling towards the wall. Just. <laughs> <laughs> the golem still on fire but Skolo has not repeated his bonus action to damage it with fire so it is not healed yes. it's going to attempt to do both attacks against you brick slam and sword god fucking he's afk any he? I don't know I don't think so 
Join you by the silence. Norvin is AFK. So, uh, no, I, I'm I'm here. Oh, those were against you. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sixteen misses and the uh, twenty three hits. Yeah, so That's a sword just slashes you across the chest, and it kind of chortles and it's like gut, basically in robot speed. Got him. Yes. And it looks as if he tied you. Got him. And uh, fears for its uh, autonomous life. Well, it's right to fear. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Mercy. No. Mm. Uh, close to death. This thing is well, in single digits. We'll see about that. Uh, counting the fucking huge damage? Yes, that's my tail. Okay. God, look at the fucking huge damage on the first one. <laughs> one, 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 Jesus. one. Jesus. Um, as you stab into it with your tail pincers, you pull it back out, and on your pincers is the automaton heart still slowly pulsing before it comes to a stop. Yeah. Drops to the ground. Kill it. Out. Murder. <clears throat> it's powered Murder. by an instant. You're now as bad. You're now as bad as fucking Nevaya. Nevaia. Uh, what? Baby door. You killing the baby door. That's what he's referencing. Bryn. Is the thing supposed to be a baby? He joked that the the automaton heart was a baby. Anyway, oh. Bryn. This poor fucking leech is trying to crawl for its life. It will not get its you, life. You're trying to crawl away. Oh, Bring me. Coward. I, I have a brood at home. Please. Add. Then perish. Uh. Please, Mr. I, Obama. I remember you. Then perish. <laughs> oh shit. Perhaps I shall survive. Unless. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is he still prone? No. no. He, when he swallowed okay. Nevaeh, he got up. Okay. Uh, come on. Do your thing, Derek. We'll yeah, that hits. That's 1922. Uh, okay. Let's get in there. Paste. Yep, twenty nine hits. Uh, sixteen, nineteen plus two. Yeah, that does it. How do you want to kill this leech? Yeah. 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 So we just, just take, like, just like, just start smashing its stomach. Just like stop. I will not let you eat anyone else. Squish. As you like break open its spine, you see inside there's like a like an engine that's growing around its bones. It's just. Obs that is the mechanism by which it absorbs or damn Jesus fucked up <laughs> it is seemingly Jace grown around he's going thing. through so much therapy when we find him you're just keeping a book of you're gonna have to talk about all these things yes oh, in the book <laughs> the book of therapy Nevaeh is going to take epic levels the exclusively as a therapy bard do <laughs> Other leech is looking scared and realizing that it's eating your aura. Yeah, so I <laughs> oh, realized no. I was I realized I was haste so I can actually make it over here. Oh, so this God. one this this one is dead, right? Uh the one yes, the golem is dead, the bottom one's dead. Yeah, oh, and this one since I killed something. Oh I no, get you're attacking me. Oh no. And eleven misses, unfortunately. Hmm. I always roll super low when I'm doing the, the great way. <laughs> How did you miss? He was three feet in front of you! <laughs> Anything else? Uh, uh, no. Alright. Gruk, there's one left. Like a freight train, the violent saber just charged towards it. Give him the boost he needs. You can do this, Gruk. We believe. I don't. <laughs> but she has not vocalized it enough yet to you. So you I, wouldn't not listen to a, I wouldn't <laughs> listen to a heretic anyway. <laughs> Go ahead and do your thing. This heretic is bigger than you, fool. I will squish you like a fucking bug. I, I made him bigger. I like can make you squish. So, make your attacks. I would I... have oh, <laughs> missed the one shot to get through. Uh, 32 does hit. I um, love you so much. 21. And, hope. um, can you check something real quick for my bonus action? Bonus action. Oh, what do you know? It says, uh, End encounter. Oh, I knew it was a first level spell. 
I wish that were a first level spell. God damn. Thanks for sh- shits and giggles. Uh, have the um, th- lizard make me a strength saving throw. It's pretty good at those. So it has a plus five on top of this. Yeah, that's a 34. It succeeds. So it feels like a light telekinetic push on its noggin. Like, bad, punk. <laughs> it looks towards you in the innermost part. There's a, an eye on the innermost parts of its throat that comes out and looks at you. My eyes do not blink. I lick my lips. It squints my and like shakes its head like it, no before sucking the eye part back in. Then it's I its turn. It's eyes. going to attack Bryn with both its bite and tail stinger. 31 and 31. Hell uh, fucking uh, yes. uh, Finally. Who is it? If so only he it wasn't to immune to, 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 to poison. Yeah. So the 19 just saves. Uh, so you just avoid being swallowed, but you still do take the um, 26 plus 19. So it's 45. Yep, 45 piercing damage of its teeth and spines jabbing into you. Then it's Brick's turn. I forgot to add the temp HP health to these fucking monsters. God damn it. That was damn, the Kari, whole you, fucking you, you point. Finally get, you finally get to use the bullshit ability we, uh, we yeah, made, and you point. failed. Damn, your crit damage is always two. I'm just gonna save us some time. You won't kill it. <laughs> I, I eat its eyeball. I pin it on its back again! Um, Can we take a break? My body hurts. You all have four in-game hours, and of, yes, your aura does return, then after it dies and you smash the engine, the energy returns to you. Uh, you have four in-game hours, you've used like 10, maybe 15 minutes of it. Do that to rest. Yeah, we're wish. good. We can take some time, dude. Thanks. Well, I fucking hurt. I can attempt yeah. to use healing on you, but let's save your magic for when we need it. I so... have plenty of slots. It's more of the chance of failing. Oh, that's true. It is still kind of glitchy. Yeah, I don't know so... what you're talking about. Mag- my magic has been working fine. Your but... magic is always like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Isn't it great? So you all no. complete a short rest, uh, no issues. Uh, you start to hear the Golger using a battering ram on the door and failing. Can I open the door? <laughs> uh, no, it is like very much sealed. Uh, there's what the fuck? Why am I always getting fourteen? What the hell? Stop bitching. Yeah, I, I'm not. Bi- I'm just. I'm not bitching. I'm just saying. Like, why the I hell is it always fourteen? Can use on a short rest. Uh, why the crap? As many hit die as you like. You just only regain half from a long rest, but that doesn't really matter because you're not probably gonna get one. Uh, so, uh, I, is there anything I'm you would like to healing. try and I'm recharge? Still healing. Yeah, yeah, I know. But during the short oh, oh rest, by the way, guess what I get back on my uh, short rest? And <laughs> access surge? Everything, yep. actually? Just everything? Yep. Yeah, you get access yeah. surge back on a short rest? Damn. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Fighters are cool. I want to put it out. Does anybody want to try anything to try and recharge Skolo's shrinking part of his beard stuff? Because you are the tower goes up and gets narrower as it goes up. So it's only going to get harder to squeeze into places from here on. Uh, as a non-magic person, I don't think there's jack shit I can do. Just I mean, you've got that fast. chaos ring in your uh, pocket. Just rub it real fast. It'll work. What? Does anybody want to try anything to try and re I don't know. I mean, I- I'm waiting for someone else to try before I do my magic. I mean, I don't really know what the fuck I'd be doing. <laughs> Yeah, I have no clue what to try. Just funnel some magic into it? Yeah. Essentially. Well, if it, if no one... Shit? Not Closer the dog, <laughs> demon thing? Yeah. Closer to the same type of energy is an easier DC. The more different, Hello? the harder it is to work. So druidic Hello? magic would be the hardest to get to work on chaos. Okay. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. Chaos magic here is the easiest one to make it reach out. Yeah. Give me a spellcasting check and uh, tell me what level spell slot you're using. Ubi. Mm-hmm. Okay. I heard the Merlin cackle. Mm. We all heard the Merlin cackle. You know what? Uh, f- uh, fifth level. Okay. And that will be a charisma check. Yep. hey Eight. <laughs> Damn. Uh, double unfortunate that you weren't inspired. Uh, as you try and do this... Uh... I, Was cr- I jump about it. I'll, I'll, 
Hmm. Well, but, uh, would would, but, would Ben happens. Luck help me? Mm -hmm. uh, did you want to use your surge thing? No, no, no. But uh, Ben Luck is something different. <laughs> oh, yeah, the thing you add two D four. The uh, or no, a a D four. <laughs> a D four. Uh, no, no, it would not get you across the line. Okay. Um, okay. As you do this, suddenly the uh, resistance to metal weapons disappears as your chaos is released from your body. No! My power! So, would you like to try again? Yes. Another fifth level? Uh, yes. Okay, roll again. I think everybody's hoping you'll just vent all the chaos you've built up at this point. Not gonna lie, yeah. 24. 24. You place your hand on Skolo's chest, or where you think the beard I, is. I climb up his chest, and then I place it on his snoot. <laughs> A slight zap goes to you, Skolo, and you're back down to a large-sized creature. Yes. As you return the charge you stole earlier. Return what you have stolen. In fact. Uh, he now has a large, like, uh, he has blue spots on his back as part of this. He thinks he has not seen them. Umir him. Grok. Grok. Fuck. Grok. Yes? Yes. Close enough. You are the one who has the blue spots. Now, as you did this, they have appeared on your back. Glorious. They slightly swirl as if they were water, but you're unsure what the fuck they are besides gross. Dude. So I am. So if nobody wants to search this level for anything, uh, on to the next level. Uh, it's searching. Investigations. So I find nothing. All right. I am. Novaya at this point is looking for Jace so she can kick his ass and okay. lock him in therapy. I'm because... looking for trap controls, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that would be the only thing Namaya would look for, is not, like, treasure, but, like, things necessary to progress. In the foyer? I did originally think the sleep revive was going to be in the foyer, but you all told me you already got it, so uh, you come across an already turned off uh, trap system. Woo! <laughs> I will say this with your nat 20. There's something pulsing in the walls. They're in the same spots, but there's a faint green undulating glow in uh, various not spots in the walls. Bonks. Bonks do you actually? Green. Do you actually hit the wall where the green thing's glowing with your hammer? Or Mike Pike mm. punch? No. Okay, that's smart. Uh, Make me regular again, please. My, it would have worn off by now. I will say, uh, one, at one point, Grux, you'll see... Uh, or, Fuck, Bryn. And you come across to see one of the undulating things. There's this like green membranous, membranous uh, like pod in the wall. It's filled with some sort of energy that's slightly like, pulsing. I Don't some like that. Of, some sort of mechanical device towards the like uh, opening of it that is Yucky. slightly flashing. In uh, it flashes and then it undulates. Flash undulate. Do you show it to the rest of us? It doesn't have a picture. I'm just. No, Bryn. Oh. <laughs> uh, sure? They are very akin to what your chaos grenades look like. Just much Oh, bigger. no. Here Don't hit them. Uh, Don't hit them. I, no, I walk up to leave it. Leave them alone. I, uh, I, I, I lick it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take one point of damage. Ah! <laughs> Let's find whatever the trap is on this floor and disable it. Check. That was a thing already done because uh, Sleeper Vine, you said you already got and I wasn't sure if I did or not. So that was what was going to be for. Then you let's did. go find Jace so we can lock his ass in therapy. The I next bit, floor uh, it bit my is tongue. the library. As you all come up to a sealed shut door, putting your key and open it. Uh, on the In the library, this is where you can turn off the wild magic actuator. No! Let's do that! Let's turn off the wild magic actuator. Where is the wild magic actuator? So as you all search, uh, give me... Yep. And you don't have to give me an investigation check. You eventually find your way into Jace's table in the very middle. Uh, and there is a uh, bit on the bottom of the table that you kind of have to like lay on the floor to mess with as the thing is bolted to the ground. Uh, it is of trivia. Course. 
There, are, you have to no. put in do it. a uh, word answer to ev- to. There are four questions. Answering two correctly will disarm the trap. Answering them all correctly will drop a special magic item. Uh, it's the security questions. Uh, you will pull out the book that you have to refer to, and the first question is, "What is the name, consider including the spelling, of Jace's plant mom patron?" Oh, I don't know how to spell Estelia. Yeah. I I dare Pyro to recreate what he typed out to me. Hold on. This is a I special think I know fuck what it is. for trying to make me remember. Type it out, please, in chat. Um, I'm like... I will tell you for free, there is an apostrophe. And I, but I will... Damn. Oh. Uh, so... I didn't know there was an apostrophe. The first four letters are correct. After that, it is wrong. Um, you see the roof slightly lowers a little bit and the door slams shut. Great. It does like item. wrong answers. You can try What's it again. the second question? No, you, you can try that same one again if you have another spelling you'd like. It's just after a certain yeah. amount of wrongs. Right. That's What's the second, the second one question, though? Is, what is the name of uh, Nevaeh's slime boat? <gasps> Celadon! C-E-L-A-D-O-N. Ding. Ding. There's one light. <laughs> Obviously, I know that one. That's my buddy. Yeah. Uh, the next question is, what is the name of Kurt's slime beer? It says, what is That's... the actual name Grin. of Kurt's? You type in Gren. Gren. <laughs> G-R-E-N-N, I think. Yep. You That's not in... his real name? <laughs> Make a uh, intelligence check. <laughs> Nevaeh. <laughs> Because this, this is a thing that actually happened with you and Jace. I find it funny. <laughs> I think Pi remembers what I'm talking about. I do. You remember there was a time where he would only ever call the slime boats Booger and Nosebleed, and you almost beat Jace up and told him, His name's Celadon. If you call him the Booger again, I'll throw you overboard. I said, Fine. Oh, I do Celadon. remember that now. I'm going to try Nosebleed. Ding, ding. Correct. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did, was there another secret name of Kurt Slime no. Bayot that we never figured out? Nope, I was just no, giving please. a middle finger to Gren again. I mean, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> uh, the third question, if you all wanted to keep trying, is what is the name of the Jace's hometown, the ruins of which you all are currently standing on? Oh, no. Wasn't it Blackleaf? Nope. I mean, I should have let you enter that, but uh, nope. <laughs> I, I, that was more asking to the party than oh. to the... I think I just shouldn't uh, t- t- take part in this. <laughs> I did say it at the beginning of the one shot. Uh, last I'm time. gonna go get me something to drink. Okay. <laughs> and I will tell you, if you all do give up on it, I will tell you the proper spelling of Ocelia. No, don't tell us. Well, yeah, I, I'll only do it when you all say you give up. Well, I wasn't here when... Uh... <laughs> Whatever that village you guys evaporated was evaporated. What the hell was I it? I think I saw it on the map. Uh, if you'd like to make me an intelligence check, uh, Jace has mentioned this multiple times, and you all have been here. So, <laughs> Is it something Haven? Yeah, you are correct. You're half there. That's what I, that's what I said. It's Haven something or whatever. <gasps> Here's a free hint. Yeah, okay. Where did you meet map. Jace, J- Nevaya? Uh, it was wherever I got... Mm-hmm. Thrown from orbit uh, by a mushroom Haven? goddess. Specifically, what kind of place were you when you landed? Where were you? Not the name of the town, but like what what was surrounding you? Was it a hill? Was it a mountain? Was it? Wasn't it forest? Yeah, it was forest. like woods, like forest trees. Mm-hmm. You were in the tree, haven. Haven. tree haven. Tree haven. You've got. You've if I got... get out of my fucking game. <laughs> No. I will not. I'm taking you off the world map, you dirty bastard. <laughs> I'm not looking at the map. I promise Sus. you, I'm not Sus. looking at the map. Sus. A hundred percent. I'm not looking the map. at the map. You are <laughs> sus, and I, and I have fixed it. Part. I'm so not on the map. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't uh, guessed where worry, I am. Don't worry, I put them all in the Fort Fire Citadel. Dirty, heretical <laughs> bastards. I'm not I on the map. I would go here just to do some typing shit because I'm not taking part of this puzzle, apparently. I'm so, not looking on the map. 
Um, oh, would no, Rick the know the name of the town that used to be here? Uh, make me a history check. Uh, yeah, so, oh, actually, I got decent history. Twenty-six. Uh, it used to be a town called Havenwood. Havenwood. Uh... You cunt, Liv. <laughs> you looked it up. <laughs> you never said we couldn't. Yeah, I just. I told you I wasn't old. on the map. I told you I wasn't on the map. I don't even also, know where you Pyro for that. Also, Pyro has spelled it differently. Pyro has spelled it he differently. Sh- yeah, because it's a nightmare word that should not exist. <laughs> he spelled it like that most recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's because it's a nightmare word that should not exist. But the official version I was given first is what I went mm-hmm. by because it's a yeah. nightmare word and should not live, exist. <laughs> but I'll consider. I just. <laughs> I'll go ahead and cons- I'll go ahead and. You count can that. consider that Navaya going through notes. I did it as actual research. Mighty sus creature you are. <laughs> I told you rod. I wasn't looking at the fucking map. It's a uh, special rod drops out with a large green gem adorned on top of it. Rod. Yoink. Uh-huh. It is a rod of the pack keeper plus three. Give that to Navaya. Um, gonna, I have bad news for you. Shove if that you, into his bag. You already have one. Yeah, you can keep it. I'm our. No, I'm out of. Well, hold on. Do I? Well, I mean, I'm out of attunement one way or another. But let me see if I have a rod. I thought you had a plus two or something. <laughs> can I? Can I eat it? <laughs> Why does that say wand of the war mage plus one? Mm-hmm. This would be probably because today. I got it. I think I it's because I got the it when I was with the bard. I will give my rod to Navaya. <laughs> Uh-huh. Hey. Well, I'll switch the the I'll switch the Ooh, wand for the uh, the rod. I can't, I can't wait to oh, get yeah, actually gain a uh, warlock spell slot with it, and um, yep. you know increases your saves by plus three now as well as your attacks. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna equip that if you one of the, the war gem, mage. It works like an immovable rod. Nice. Uh, I wondered about the immovable rod thing. Yeah. Click so you can just hold it, hang, and just kind of blast from the air. And then unclick Love and it. Unclick and drop. Yep. Unclick and drop. And you drop. can also you know, regain a spell uh, slot with it. So you basically got an immovable rod of the pack keeper. I love it. So, Add. And the wild magic actuator oh. is off, so you all no longer have to worry about it except for Gruk, who has a 25% chance still, but his spells will still happen if he goes wild. Do we see the, the generator? Uh, it's... Uh, Similar to before, it's just kind of a system that's built into the place. You turn it off, it. and these uh, I'm on two circles. I was hoping to eat it. Uh, these two circles over here were kind of like the uh, like radar dishes, and they suddenly go dark after you turn it off. Mm. I would like to try to, and to try to eat that. I would like to eat. You look the floor, and you taste only dirt. No. Jace is too smart Sad. to let people eat his shit. Sad. Um, so. On to that, is, it, is there anything you all want to look for in the library? Uh, you do, I will say, easily enough, you do find the places where the books you all have have been taken out. Um, yep. Is there anything else you would like to look for in the library? This is where all of his records are kept, basically, unless they are specifically being used for something, like a recipe book in the lab. There's I would no like to look for any, any books on cloning. Uh, he actually does have books on the uh, tubes he has in uh, the Infinite Foundry about mm-hmm. the... Uh, the uh, stasis chambers that you were used to generate uh, new bodies. Would that be an investigation check? Uh, it'd be an intelligence check to understand what he's reading. Because this place is extremely organized. Like I said, it's either hit or miss with him. His records and notes he does not fuck with. These are pristine. There is a catalog and a sub-catalog for like every subject. It's actually quite nice. Uh, if, Gruck, this is if, incomprehensible yeah. to you. I eat the book. <laughs> The book is magic. Why? All these books are magically warded from desecration. Do you swallow it? I do. <laughs> you you might be choking. Make me a uh, constitution uh, check to try and swallow uh, it. I will give him the Heimlich so he has a uh, advantage. Oh, advantage to get it down or disadvantage? Up. Ah. I'm trying to push it up. No, I, I'm trying to force it back down. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's trying to do. So you're just counteracting it. Be disadvantage because somebody's actively fighting to get you. You spit it out, Gruck. Yep. Pah. It comes flying like 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 a little missile. Yep. Brandon Bra- Bra- will just like shoot it with the spray bottle. No, stop oh, eating the bugs. Yes. Shit. <laughs> he skitters on a few on a, on a... things that would be unforgivable besides eating some of Jace's notes. 
Skrull is gonna yeah. look for anything on Arch Devils. He skitters under uh, under the table. <laughs> oh, there no. is a catalog that Jace has of all the Arch Devils he's found so far. There is an extensive page on Mirren, and uh, they are. I can actually tell you some. <laughs> if you'd like to give some lore on that, uh, some of these things, just kind of brief. Feel free. Yay! Well, uh, it, it, the, they will be very specific to their show, so if the, uh, it'd be a tough check because uh, any information on anything revolving around their domains w would be hard to find. Because remember, okay. their subs like new creatures or amalgamations of old creatures uh, onto their, the, their domains. They're mostly so. first-hand accounts of what he has in the library at the moment with different avenues that he's planning on pursuing. So give me an intelligence check, fairly lower DC, to try and uh, ascertain new knowledge. Okay, you kind of rehash over the things you all already know about the uh, chaotic aurorum uh, coming through and giving a resurgence to celestial beings, causing a, a bit of a shift in the balance of the universe, of which has given uh, rise to new archdevils. Um, there's a detailed listing of the nine devils that uh, now exist. There are each of the names listed, I won't necessarily go through them now because I don't think I have a complete list. But you see Mirren, you, don't. you see uh, who, you remember uh, Mushroom Girl? What was her name? Castella. Castella. You see, I think, I think it was Castella. It was Castella. It's like Casteloth or something. Casteloth, uh, something Casteloth. along those lines. Yeah. So you see those particular, I are guaranteed that I know he knows, and maybe some musings on possible other ones. That's kind of what he has on his main subject so far. Anyone else want to look at anything? I can actually... Uh... Books that look like they would resell for a decent value. <laughs> I mean, these are expensive books, and they are also... You do notice there is a mechanism that these books click in and out of, so he can very quickly see what is missing from his library, should one ever be stolen. And you have an okay intelligence. It would not be hard for him to try and track you down if you stole one of these. Gold, yeah, might he's be figuring able to that out. He's Steve just kind of looking at the book, seeing if there's anything interesting. Finds nothing. Okay. Realizes that if he takes any, there he's going to be figured out. So he's just, eh, fuck this. Okay. Uh, they're quite comfortable couches. Uh, lightly used, though. Um, if you all don't have anything well, else. Well, yeah. To Chase does occasionally. I mean, I could carry one, no problem, but um, I think he'd notice. Catch to the final fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you all don't have anything else you want to look for, we can move on to the next floor, which I believe is the tech room. It is the tech room. The tech room is where hmm. the uh, REMS lab or the REMS system can be turned on and off. Yes, uh, Skull, you should recognize <clears throat> this. <laughs> also, peep the lower room. right. <laughs> James Whitley's personal <laughs> Hang on. This looks familiar. This is the thing Shane made. Yeah, this looks is. oddly familiar. I remember... Uh, are, are, are those <laughs> bug tracks? <laughs> this an angry old man. Okay. So, you have the uh, like small side compartment, because what would be the basement is just kind of an, a side chute, uh, upper lab, and then main lab area. Look for ways to disable the rams. Um, make me a general intelligence check as you all are looking at things, specifically this part over here. Oh no! The thing with arcing bolts of energy and such. Twenty-one. Navaya, you don't see an off switch so much as you see a uh, possibilities of maybe diverting power. Hmm. But they are not labeled on how you would divert them. There's just a series of switches. So you'd have to try and figure out where would you all uh -oh. send power to turn off the magnetic part. And we don't know where the other places go. Correct. So. Uh, well, it's not so much that you see kind of a rough sketch of what the tower is with a series of Basically like an arrow pointing to a spot and a socket next to it, but you're not sure what it necessarily correlates to. You think, oh, it's something on the lower levels, but you're not sure exactly what the lower level thing is being powered. Um, you do see that basically all the power has been reworked to now go into 
the REM system. Um, if somebody would like to make a Tinker's Tools check, they can try to identify uh, where these things are. Which would be just can straight I... intelligence if you don't have yep. it. I can't make a Smith Tool check. It's not working with a fo anvil or forge, no. Can I make a Runic Tools check? Uh, Rune Tools? There's a bit of Runic magic on it. I'll let you use that. Okay, I'll use that. Okay, so intelligence. 22. 22. Okay. Um, you think, you're looking at about the foyer level. You think you could turn the minefield back on and divert the power. Do it! Yeah, 100%. Minefield! <laughs> you start hearing bursts of power outside as the minefield's going off with the gruk, or the grog, walking across it, previously believing it was safe. <laughs> Just to just, just just mildly curious, Bryn, you just uh, did did knowingly murdered uh, some of your followers, right? Uh, no, unknowingly. You thought they got in already? I don't know mm -hmm. what you're talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, this is only pseudo canon anyway. Mm. <laughs> he said, "You want to see me violent? I'll show you violent." Violent. They were clearly heretics. They still love you. Uh, there were some a bit very close to the tower. There are no mines because they blow up the tower. So they're, all the ones who were kind of really close trying to get in are still on the edge, but they can't cross now. So they're kind of marooned. And the uh, suddenly, Bryn, you feel the pull that you felt all this time drop as the metal relays up the tower are no longer pulling and searching for magnetic or radiant energy. Yay! All that's left now are... Uh, ooh! Oh, the special room. I love the special room. The brain room. Uh, anything in the tech room, I should ask, that you all want to search for. These would be tech-related things. No. Nope. Okay. Brain room. Now, this one. You identify this as Jace's kind Harry of, like, Potter? play workshop. Yes, yes, I'm aware. This is the place where... Jace does most of his brainstorming. You see there are two chairs, presumably to play giant chess, as well as this. This right here is a magical wonder. Um, those of you who have some knowledge of the planes recognize that you see these spheres of influence, each representing a different place in the cosmos. And it slowly ticks like a grand clock, showing where they overlap and as they shift. It is interesting. And you wonder if it's actually keeping real time of how the planes drift and overlap. Huh. And you're staring and you see like the material plane and the places it overlaps. And you see a handful of other recognizable planes, which I won't go into because I'm not super in-depth on the lore. But you see what would be a rudimentary representation of the realms of chaos, divine realms, etc. It looks vaguely like a, like, like a tree surrounded by a very, very inky miasma. <laughs> With my with asthma. the miasma, uh, my with uh, <laughs> my asthma, mm -hmm. uh, with a bit of malformed oval, uh, like me melting pot type pockets floating in a in a faint circular pattern. Mm -hmm. the, each plane is represented. There's this little ball that emanates light, and they overlap. And so it'll be like if it's a red and a blue plane overlap, it makes a purple middle area to show you clearly where they overlap. It's very beautiful. And you just Someone can has listen a high to opinion of their own character. Is this the star puzzle? Uh, it's in this chamber, yes. It's not this, but this is just something I wanted to point out. Um, you all do come <clears> across <throat> a large safe-like looking object. Also, I would like to point out, while not picture on that, there's a giant dragon statue looking over, possibly as a re reference to um, Festershan. Uh, but it just kind of gives on to the room. Uh, what you will do eventually if I come across is a... Where is... Oh, there it is. Thank God. A neat little puzzle. So... Okay. You, you walk over towards the large observatory um, telescope. That's oh, at, hell no. And you see a collection of constellations denoted in the book. Currently, this thing is locked. And inside there is both the controls for 
the uh, remaining traps, and possibly some very powerful magic items. Below are listed the constellations you all uh, see denoted in your book. This is why I said it was really fun, because uh, you may pick up on a theme on these. Aren't these... Well, I know who the bottom four are. Mm -hmm. The middle four are the ones that you guys played in that really, really old game are they? that I wasn't a part of. And then the top four are from our god shot, aren't they? Uh, depending on how you define those, you have your first and last things were correct. The, those are on here. Maybe not in the, that order, but uh, it's kind of hard to mistake who the great whore is. I will say. Yeah, and, and the Great Rot is absolutely Nurgle. Yeah. The oh, Schemer and wrong. the Raging One are absolutely Zinch and Korn. The Warriors. All right. I, know who, I, 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 know, um, I, I know them all now. Yep. Oh. Should, should I be quiet, Connor? This is the one I, where I, I might have one. Pyro uh, be quiet for because he knows a little too yeah. much. The Great Worm is Neltharian, right? Uh, nope. See, that's why Atlas? I know Pyro is... There is also a little bit of hate with the colors and the shapes. They the are representative of things. Yeah. The chained uh, one is Naltharian. So the way this one works, uh, up here on this 4x4 four four grid, you will draw a constellation as part of the combo. Okay. There are two answers. There's one that is two entries, and there's one that has four entries. Okay. Uh, when you... I have a handle here, basically. Just You all enter it. And then pull the handle. Uh, oops, whoopsies. Two uh, handles! Is that yeah. a toilet paper holder? It is. Don't think about it too hard. Uh, <laughs> it kind of works. What the, the Jace's notes are that these are uh, personal combinations built on the representation of the constellations, and that these are actual constellations that he's observed in, in the sky, and that their hmm. uh, closeness and distance correlate to the presence of certain celestial beings that he's noticed with that grand orrery and and whatnot it's fascinating that he finds out there's a correlation between these um you all figured out that those bottom four uh are related to the chaos gods yes if you notice uh brick the bottom four are all kind of variations of the omega with different uh amounts of bends ranging from one through four uh, and also turn northeast south or west with the bend which is, oh shit! I hmm. forgot to turn one of them uh, to the west. Um, I was about to say. Uh, one moment while I turn the great rot uh, to the wicked witch of the west. Oh, east! I thought you said west. There we go. My bad. That's what I intended to have. Um, does anybody have any thoughts of initially for this combo? Okay, so one of them has no, two constellations, and the other one has four constellations. I think the easiest way to work on this would be try and figure out the correlation. So you know everything below... Hang on, let me just set it to no snapping. You all know what's below this line. You understand that? Yeah. I think it yeah. would help to figure out what these eight above it are. And Pyro, you are absolutely welcome to use these as actual constellations. Well, I, I know these. <laughs> I need these four because that this is Hank, this is Carastus, this is uh, Festushan, um, and then the slumbering one is the one that we. Oh met yeah, that could. Bottom. Well, hmm. well, Festushan's the slumbering one. The chained one is. Uh, I will say Atlas? I forgot Hank CL was a thing. I will give you that freebie. I forgot. You forgot he was, he was a thing. So what the fuck's the warrior? Then? Uh, that's um. I'll give you a hint. Let me divide it this way as you're viewing them. Okay. Okay. So if you already know, it's... Bryn wouldn't know hint. because... Yeah, he, 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 he. <laughs> the, your the character's likely... Jack? Your characters probably don't recognize these ones on the left, is what I'll say. I'll say... I... These two are in a group... Uh, in fact, just give me religion checks to identify what these refer to. That's the easiest way the to do The Oathkeeper, is that your character? The one that, the betrayer? I think the Oathkeeper is Canaeus. Interesting. 
Uh, Bryn, you recognize not only is it your same color of orange, the Oath Keeper somewhat looks like an anvil uh, that you would forge metal against. Or a chair. Hey, or Oath a chair. Keeper is... Oh, or... or so that or... one's correct. So then what the fuck's the machine? And the Great Worm has to... The Great Worm is probably the... Jeez. Brick knows nothing. Okay. Oh, God, just let me know. Weather... Just let me when I when I can go off. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the huntress sounds like Elkira mm -hmm. to me. You would be correct. So if we're going, the weather, the the machinist could be Neovactus, which mm -hmm. would make the warrior Canaeus. Mm -hmm. those, I will tell the you those all three. The are weathered correct. one could be Merlin. Could be. Oh, very much Merlin. The weathered one could also be um, Mortarian. Does the weathered one he's work just... for Hanksio? Yes. You... Okay, we're going to say Hanksio then. His, his, his moniker is the Tattered Conqueror, so... Oh, good. There it is. It was, it was planned all along. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By all means. I, 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 I know the the two that they're, they're going to have trouble with because technically that... Mm -hmm. What did Dom play in the God Shot when I wasn't there? Hybris is also not on here. Uh, okay, because uh, he's he also did not appear until much later, so his constellation would not technically exist. I think, if I'm thinking correctly, or his would be stemming off of because he came from Chaos Corns. So, uh, how um, do you spell your God's name again? Uh, K-E-N-E-A-S uh, I think he means Oh, Canaeus yes. uh, So you all have pretty much successfully identified um, I will also tell you that I cannot clear your all's drawings on this because I would grab all the drawings so I'll just leave you all to clear right. yours um, Denote the spelling of the great worm and Yeah, W-Y-R-M Mm -hmm. That is a long green uh, dragon worm. Yeah, that is Festivan. I don't know who that is. So then, what's so the slumbering is... one then? Because uh, the chained one's probably the. the... Stop that! You damn thing. Probably you... Atlas. No. Well. Which yeah. One, possibly. Which one is Canaeus the warrior? Yes. Canaeus is the warrior. God, I fucking hate this dude. Hold, hold, alt, or. Yeah. yeah, I got it. So the slumbering one is stumping on. Give me a religion. The weather one is. Uh, you said the weather one is Hank mm -hmm. Allow me. <laughs> uh, would you like to mm. pitch in Pyro on who the slumbering one might be in your Gruck intelligence? Let me uh, let me just see here. Where is where's my religion? Where's my religion? Religion. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Who is he? <laughs> um, you remember as you were thumbing through that book earlier about the people who were put in pods. There was this oh. great sleeping. Uh, oh, that's plant okay. okay. Yeah. Athelia? Yeah. He's a god. But she's perpetually know. asleep. Oh, in God's name. Yeah. It's also oh, Jay set these up, and uh, he most definitely is putting his god mom yeah. on the list. Yeah. yeah. Is is that anywhere close to how you say or spell his fucking name? <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> I I think there's no there's not the first C, and I think it's spot on after that. But God, I got you, man. Work. I got you. So you figured out the Toselia, and then uh, did your characters have an in canon reason for remembering Atlas? I can't remember. Balthazar did. <laughs> well. Balthazar's kind of dead. Yep. Balthazar is very dead. Balthazar's fucking I, murdered. I, I, as Olivia, <laughs> I don't even know who Atlas is. So, like... I know who Atlas is as I've, a DM. Yeah. The only other two uh, times I've, I've referenced uh, the Abyssal Drake is is when giving lore on, I, on the other four, because that's where, where where they got the pr the vast chunk of their power. Yeah. And do you and that was what the important I... part about the Abyssal Drake that gives him the name for the constellation? <clears throat> he uh, he is ch uh, chained at the bottom of of the abyss, uh, I, I, out of chains, specifically forged by Carastus and enchanted by Festishan, and who, uh, and he was critically wounded and 
beating the shit out of by, uh, by Hank Ziel just to keep him perpetually weak, but his humor is that leaked eventually gave form to the schemer, the great rot, the raging one, and the great horror. <laughs> however, okay. however, the gr the recent fuckery of the chaotic aurora <laughs> mm -hmm. may have disconnected certain strings that have allowed certain certain god demon things to attain more not sentience agency. Agency is the word I'm thinking. <laughs> So, it's the abyssal dragon. It so he's basically the your version of the chained oblivion. No, it's my own version of fucking Tiamat. <laughs> it's the same difference. Okay, well, shut up. Sounds well, like uh, So, I guess Fistshine Crisis, Hank Cashel, and the chained one are all like together. Mm -hmm. So, now you you have identified them. One, then? It's. Now would be the time to try oh, and... Just, oh, just, Sylvia, I'm you, stupid. You gave me the names on the, the other two. The Slumbering and the Chain One. How to spell it. Uh, oh, Sylvia is in the chat. Yep. Yeah. And then... They don't know his name is Atlas, John. It just go, right. goes by the Abyssal Trick. Yeah. So that'd be the flower-looking one. Because Plant Mom... Uh, and then chain one. Because he ran out of green. Oh, don't call me out. <laughs> okay. Although you're entirely right, oh. and that the really darker shades did not show up on this color. I'm surprised you, you didn't you didn't oh, uh, j j just give a, a, a car a white. Yeah, I could have, but yeah, I like the little pink like petunia flower for Ocelia. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be the one with the great worm because I don't think the great worm would fit on the four by four grid. So here's what the way I'm... it's. Say yeah. So you'll just the way you can just take your free hand tool and like yeah. Give me the shape of what it would be. I guess that would be the Festishan one. And uh, some of them may not fit, and that might be a clue as to why they if, whether or not they are on the grid. Because hmm. if you notice, uh, you correctly Festishan takes at least four points across, and then she goes up. Even if she yeah. goes directly up and then goes back down, it'd be a it tight can't fit. be that. So that eliminates so Hank's Carastus and the Abyssal Drake. So As a reminder: there are no. I just gave those groupings to help you all figure out who these people were. The answers are either there's a two-answer one, uh, or a four-answer one. Mm -hmm. So which they means have, they have to relate to Jace's life is how he's programmed these. Uh, very important private memories. Well, not really private, but important parts that only certain people would know about. Well, there would so definitely be... to find a chair and sit in it. What are the two gods that were... Brooke will sit in the chair next to him. <laughs> which which fight did James help us with? Yeah. We, we, you put this before Slanesh. After Slanesh, you all visited the foundry and got gear and then went to the corn fight. when we dropped off Kurt. Yes, and your mom. And my mom. Yeah, it was nothing so laid with. <laughs> Had to. Actually. <laughs> who are the two guys? All known Nevaeh's got a stepsister, or a half-sister, whose father, whose last name is Whitley. <laughs> so, so how the hell are we putting these things in? If you oh, give up on trying to figure it as people, you can give me an intelligence check to try and guess a pattern. Just no, tell me if like, you want to try and guess the two or the four. You basically just... No, it just each point has a point on here. So if uh, if I were to draw, let's see, the Huntress is the easiest one to draw. Yeah. Ooh, ruler you would just one. pretty much... This would be yeah. the Huntress. Yeah. And then you do that and say, I'd like to enter the Huntress and draw that out. Ding. And then I would count that as the first thing. Actually, oh. that would be the Huntress. I fucked up. It'd just be this. So you would draw them one at a time? They don't have to fit together? Correct. Yeah, that's if they the had Huntress. to fit together, it'd be a lot harder. Being okay. Hard. And the Machinist would be... Boink, boink. I think it could be the Slumbering One in the Great Whore. Ocelia and... Uh... That's the Machinist. Okay. Just because Ocelia... It's, it's because of Jace. Because if it's Jace... And his relation to to us, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I, you know what? We visited him after the Slanesh fight. I like that better he than my actual armor. solution, so I'm going to say yes. Mm-hmm. You know, I had originally had it where yeah. I was going to have uh, the weathered one and Ocelia, but I like that a lot better. That's very what sweet. What does he have to do with Hank CL? Well, originally Hank CL was going to be a bit of a play that it was Jace was the weathered, weathered one and there was no actual weathered one constellation. So I was trying to figure out how to rewrite the answer. <laughs> Uh, you know, you didn't need to tell well, us that. You I didn't, just but it would have come out uh, uh, in the recording anyway. Smart. So, oh, the four answer. Phony, a the four fa- answer was the uh, order in which you all beat the chaos gods. Ah, yeah, I figured it was something with the chaos gods. Yeah, so it was then it just... would have been, yeah. Yeah, this was also just gonna have you draw it out if I was running really fast. Otherwise, you can just kind of say them. Uh, this is my big mitigator on time. But we're getting close to the end, so I can just say, yeah, you enter this, then that. All right, cool. So as you do that, you're able to turn off the uh, bestiary. There's a tone that plays throughout the thing that draws the creations back into their cages. Uh, closes it. And the chaos bombs are disarmed. Wait. You keep you're turning it off. They're, why aren't they turning off? This it's in the book. This is how you turn off the chaos bombs. This is the detonation. This oh is... no! Ah, uh, shit. Inside, mm. you also see a uh, deck of cards uh, bound in a, uh, a platinum box yeah. with an. Come here! Lock. Come here! No. Oh, bad, bad spray. spray. But I want. Did you open it? it? No, I I eat it. You aren't over there. You said no. use that deck. You have not seen it yet. Um, it's it, it smells of chaos. I want to eat it. <laughs> it does open it when they open the box. Oh. Hey, he'll open the box. I it is it, it oh. is the deck you're thinking of. I want to eat it. No. Let me eat it. Let me eat it. I, I, no. Let me ascend. <laughs> oh, but Pyro, I thought you couldn't have this in your setting. I wasn't going to pay a pull from it. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, it will be entombed within me <laughs> back in Pandemonium. I can put it off the board forever. Give it! <laughs> I just wanted to give a pseudo-canon reason why the deck of many can exist. Mm-hmm. If only the, the DM just didn't bap it with a stick. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cockroach. Uh, if there's... Oh my god. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's a good one. Uh, this is Jace's like, highest power magic item place. Uh huh. Um, I'm looking up the name of a thing uh, called a Rod of Resurrection, since I just rolled the loot oh. for it. Acquires a tomb by a cleric, druid, or paladin. Has five charges. You can spend an action to expend the uh, the following spells. You can spend one charge to cast heal or resurrection for five. It gains Damn. one expelled charge at dawn. If it's reduced to zero charges, uh, roll a d20 on a one. It disappears in a burst of lit radiance. It is a legendary item. Well, I guess we give that to the paladin. Or the druid. That's up to you. Yeah, the druid. I'll, I'll, I'll give... Druid, cleric, or paladin. What is the cleric but like a a, a sorcerer in waiting? <laughs> uh, you already have a belt of cloud giant strength, right, uh, Brick? Yep. There's another one in there. Um, and the last thing... Yeah. Oh, you want to just bump it up to the yeah, next me. level? Nope. Uh, and I were it. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be allowed to play this character ever again, and we've only got like one fight to go. I know. <laughs> Cl- Cloud Giant Strength, what, what does that one give? Uh, 23 Strength. Oh, I'll put that on. Oh. There is yeah. also a uh, hammer in there with two giant faces as the hammer ends. Can I try and pick it up? <laughs> uh, if ye be worthy. <laughs> it does not budge for you. Brick will try to pick it up. It's just extremely heavy. It's not Mjolnir. <laughs> but it is a hammer of thunderbolts, it. which is a legendary uh, item that requires attunement. It's a Wait, plus what one to attack and rolls. Are, uh, are you sure it was belt of cloud giant strength? Yep. That says twenty-seven. Interesting. Wrong giant. Oh, can I have that? Cloud no. giant should not be twenty-seven. It is. You're thinking Frost Giant. You, you gave him Connor, remember? Ah, yeah, the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so, is it Frost? If we're getting towards the end, this is Jace's most prized magic items. It's it. I rolled for it, and it's Cloud Giant. Here's your 27. 
Well, you your, already have a belt, like, so you already have a belt. I'll so give I... you my frost giant for your cloud giant. Mm. Take a penny, leave a penny. <laughs> mm. Mm. But I want, I want, I want. Some I will give you three thousand gold for it. I want and some my giant. You already have a belt. My belt. Yeah, as a people, we would give him all of our money. My belt. My belt. Can I have the belt, giant, the giant savior? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You said the bad word. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's> bad. Ah! <laughs> I would attack him if I thought it did anything. <laughs> you can certainly fucking try. You, you look over, and um, he is now looking slightly ethereal because it's, his clock is running out. <laughs> he's about to be pulled back into pandemonium. Hello. All right, let's do this before the frog gets yoinked. Hello. So all that's left now is the apical laboratory. Where I guess we're going up to the apical laboratory. It's at the very top part and has the big view out onto everywhere. And you still haven't seen Jace. Oh. Yeah, I know. As you enter into the laboratory, you see him bound in magical restraints and surrounded by that same sort of um, like membrane that you've seen on these chaos bombs, but slightly different. Does he look Tubes and conscious? vines going into him. He seems to be completely unconscious and floating like he's in an amniotic sack with tubes and vines coming out of him and into him, uh, being drained of some sort of energy. Fix your you aura. Alright. Yeah, you, see a, what you know what? You're just in the aura. It's a small map. You're in the aura. Uh, you also see a, a cluster of chaos bombs around the room. Okay. Are they chaos well, or I'm, anti -chaos? Those are set to anti -chaos, go off if we touch Jace or mess with him at all. Um, give me a perception check, everyone to try and originally find out what the fuck happened to him. You all uh, look up, all of you 20 plus, look up and see a giant uh, fem feminine face on the roof looking down at you all. It is not Ocelia, as you have seen her before. It is something entirely Is that normal? New. Nope. Hello? Vexera? Hello. Hello Who's up there? I am... It blinks for a second. I have not needed a name before. I... Hmm. I was born from Jace. And so I shall call myself Jesse. I am Jesse. Why have you broken Hi. into my home? Well, um, see? Well, you're about to be history. Invitation. We're Jace's friends, and he sent us an invitation. Oh. Jace has been detained. I see that! What did that naughty boy do? He attempted to stop my plans. To protect and expand the tower. That doesn't sound like him. It was kind of out of character. He had a brief flash of moral sense. I thought he was going to have a stroke. Yeah, he probably would have, honestly. You see a bubble come out of Jace's mouth in the pod. So, how were you going to expand and protect the tower, Jesse? You see a kind of like a uh, humanoid body descends from the vines covering the ceiling. And this sort of feminine humanoid body uh, with vines growing out of the back and reaching into the ceiling drops down to look at you all. <gasps> with this plan, and she kind of waves her hands and produces a bit of magic resin onto her fingertips and snaps and shows you all an illusion, showing that the roots that you all saw descending were just going to keep digging down and down and down and out and out and out, extending the minefield and its borders uh, forever. And started had plans of like growing its own towers that maybe Jace Baltimore? didn't have to be a part of, but this required a lot of. No, power. I know Norvin. <laughs> this required a lot of power to maintain, and Jace had a lot to keep this tower going, but she needed a constant supply. So she asked him to help maintain it by getting more power from the foundry, and he refused because he didn't think this was a good idea. As Wait, you can so see, this would only lead to the betterment of all the surrounding area. 
I could fully detox the chaos on the ground and start a new empire. An empire hey. of green. I detest that. <laughs> she looks at you. I know. Hello. Your kind will soon be neutralized. There is no fear. You will soon I have peace. No, I don't want peace. I want chaos. <laughs> Her eyes flash slightly green. More so. And she looks at you. I assume you are here to help me complete my plans. Chase has been resisting. No, my draw. we're pretty set on the stopping you. I raise my, my hand politely. <laughs> Why? I just, have done nothing for, wrong. Just real, real quick. Um. You you said um. That uh, if you 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 put your brutes out, that would go everywhere, right? Um. That means it would eventually reach Grekistan, correct? Which means you are now violating the international borders of Grekistan. <laughs> My current plan, as the root systems do not seem to have enough power to spread no matter how I try and drain Mr. Whitleaf, is to detonate the tower after filling it with reproductive spores so that multiples of my kind can sprout up around and start building their own chaos purging lives. Yeah, yeah, that's a hard no. In the chaos, you're trying to erase just a corrupted weed. I don't know what you mean. Me, me. I'm, I am, order. Uh, Skolo, I'm going to give you advantage on this uh, perception check because you are very familiar with druidic magic. Give me a perception check, to as you're looking at her. Something is off. You you you, you feel you taste something in the air that you haven't t felt in a while. No, you did feel this recently. You felt it when you were underground towards the, the chaos bodies that were being packed down. Oh, no. You've come to figure out that there's some Nurgle essence living inside her. Yeah. And he's corrupting her cha her frame of thought. And that there will be peace when everything is dead. And her peace, quote-unquote, is not the normal definition as she's staring at you all. If you s intend to resist, I have no op no other option than to detonate the tower early. Can I just attack her? But uh, before before that, Connor, um, mm -hmm. the, are these bombs attached to anything? To the wall. Yep. Did they look like they could just be like pulled off? Possibly. Okay. Just check. Uh, if you'd like to lunge and stab at her, she won't even go into initiative on this as you stab her and kill the little like symbiosis body. She'll kind of look at you and go, Very well. As you see the energy that was inhabiting this little homunculus drips down into the floor and you hear the breaking of stone on the level below you. And you hear a draconic roar. Oh, dinosaur's up. Our dragon's up. Great. I guess we're going downstairs. Oh, they're coming up here. Uh, that dragon is a gargantuan-sized creature. Would you like to fight it up here or down there? Down there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't an option. Um, Gooba. As you all come to face with an ancient Nurgle dragon, I need you all... Let me clear it first. To roll initiative. As this dragon statue is now animated with uh, errant Nurgle energy filling it. And the belief of Jessie, this created consciousness that believes she's doing right. <clears throat> You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? Let me make sure this one's actually auto-rolling damage, because I didn't realize I didn't have them already set to that. Okay, it is set right. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I think that's everyone. There's three above, two below. Cool. Descending, and we're up with you first, Navaya. Use the part okay. uh, where its main damage is, is poison. <sighs> Mother. <laughs> I did base this off a of green dragon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. Okay, I so symbiotic armor on. I'm, that no, is no, no, you I'm don't punish your players for planning ahead. I know. Mm. I'm looking at Pure's Feast to make sure I've got that right. Uh, no, hey. it's right because it completely boned another DM yeah. that of a podcast we listened to. Yeah, they did I mean, it as they uh, went into a forest that used mostly poison, and it was just 
I mean, if you really want to uh, want to be a Nurgle dragon, it, it'll be ex exhaustion just to fuck with Skull Morgan. Oh, there Morgan. is an exhaustion. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, gonna, is this the last battle? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna end. Maya's I'm gonna my start John with myself. She's she put work. her she put her symbiotic armor on, and now she's gonna use Finger of Death. Um. Okay. Necrotic damage on the nerve. That is my new spell. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, Constitution save. Yeah, it saves. Okay. Yeah, I don't think. Wait a minute. Use cutting words on this. Thirty yeah, damage. Three con save. Wait a minute, but I think I can use cutting words. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let me see if it if it does damage first. An attack roll, an ability check, or a damage roll. Yeah, no, nope, that's it, not it. Caesar fails. Mm. So, as you launch it out, it does take some necrotic energy. Not as much. So it does 15 damage, because it is a stone creature wrapped in chaos energy, and Still. also stinky, the final boss, and you all are getting away with not dealing with most of its chaos. It's poison bullshit. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. You know what? I don't feel bad. That's fine. Brick. That's my turn. That's action bonus action. Free spell slot basically. <laughs> Brick is gonna move right there. It's my Mystic Arcana. Mm -hmm. One. Oh, that probably misses. Eighteen. Decidedly yes. Fuck. That 21? just hits. Okay. Nice. Rolling shit back there, man. <laughs> and 21. So I hit twice. Axe and Church. Okay, hang on. Let me... There we go. Miss. 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 What the fuck? And 12. Hit. And you're striking stone. I only have to roll above a fucking 6 to hit. <laughs> Chaos reigns. Uh, and then an 11. Okay. Is that it? Uh, backhand hit. This is a D4. Oh, 2 D4. D4. Six damage. What awesome power! Uh, bring y'all. Am I supposed to be adding my... You figure that out. Bring. Strength to that damage? Because we I'm are a right little now. close on combat time. Because we got half an hour. So I'm just going to kind of speed run as best I can. God! No! Uh... No! No! You can't do this to all the Chaos Bosses and the Ancient Nurgle Dragon. You can't! He can, all though. Connor, ju ju just, just, Why? buddy. What the oh fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh, that, 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 Damn! Counter chaos. Damn. Oh my god. It's everything I've wanted to see. Okay. <laughs> 29 on the first. Sheesh! Yes. Okay, Connor, I do have a question. Hang on, I'm still calculating his things. He's coming yeah. down from his high. Because <laughs> he went really low and then really high. Yeah, so I think he, he's... he's he, he... What was your question, Norman? Okay, it says... The weapon's damage die for this attack is a D4. Mm -hmm. So does that mean it's I'm supposed to add my strength modifier too, or just the damage yes. die? Yes, you're supposed to add your strength modifier. Or so add, add an extra six damage. Okay. Bryn, as you go to you, you're like, oh yeah, I know how to deal with chaos bosses, and you do your big smite. You launch the smite energy, and there's a big hole in its throat from the stone thing, and all this smite energy just leaks through and hits the ground, only minorly damaging it with that brutal smite. Was is that like you saying why the damage was lower? Yeah. Is that like that okay. is just a description of why your previous chaos boss beating bullshit didn't kill this thing immediately? Um, anything else? Uh, no. All right, the Nurgle dragon. Uh, I need. It gets to, uh, hmm. Oh, so it's either it's breath or all of those. Interesting. And there'd be. I am playing this one as smart as I can, so no more. But does creature. it? But does Add it an extra know? three, please. Add an extra three, please. I forgot the magic damage. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, ninety foot cone. I believe that's the whole fucking battlefield. Yep. Yep. So I, I do have a 90-foot cone on another page to pull out in case anybody has any questions, but safe to say, it's the whole field. Um, yeah, yeah. 
I need con saving right. throws from everyone then. <clears throat> I at least have a chance of. Yeah, look at that fucking disgusting no, fail. Uh, exhaustion. Ah, uh, yeah, just for the. Is she not in it? Oh, she I'm is. in the aura. I didn't notice. My bad. Uh, so Dabble. Dabble. Fuck. Uh, does a 36 pass? Uh, yes. In fact. 26. Mm -hmm. 22 is the DC. It's very clearly posted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You son of a bitch. As it looks Skola, like... why? He... Pyro, you really had to tell it. You really had to say it. You really had to say it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh Skola, oh, no, you yeah. just missed... Yep. Buddy. Skola, no, wait, 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 wait. Ben Luck, Ben Luck, Ben Luck. Ben oh, Luck, fuck him. Can you it on other ben people? Uh, let's see here. I, I, I think I, I can only use it on other, on other people. <laughs> when another creature you see fails in effect, same. Thing. Oh yeah, so be, spend two sorcery points and he will auto save. Nice. Yeah. So finally, nice. your luck's about to shit out, Skolo, and mm, a chaos bo burst hits you, and you just cross the line, <laughs> literally at the DC too. <laughs> Dear God, he, he needs. Why he he needed it. He needed. He Why he needed this. Immune? Sorry, Brick. <laughs> we, I, I had to give him something. We ate a balanced breakfast. God damn it! It's looking around. I just picture uh, Hades mm -hmm. and Hercules movie yes, doing exactly. that. Yes, exactly. And it's going to fly straight up, <clears throat> crashing through the floor. Uh, actually, as it gets ten yep. feet away from me. By all means, try and sentinel this. I swear Look to God, if we. Yes, Connor. Bye, Connor. <laughs> Bye. I also get a. I also get one. So yeah, this uh, grand ancient gr uh, Nurgle dragon, a unique being, <laughs> here unto unseen, to the light of day, takes off with its mighty twenty-foot wingspan. And as it takes off, your piddly plus three halberd grabs its ankle and fucking body slams it back down, unable to move. <laughs> Nope, Brent, bitch. And then Brynn also <laughs> smacks it just for good measure. You are gods amongst men. Yeah, we're level 20. Happened. Disgusting. <laughs> Skolo Harris. It's almost a <clears throat> you know what? A 20 I want to be in. fun. Uh, yeah? Skolo, tell me when you want the Chaos Brew to wear off as it's reaching the end of its stuff as well. The thing that keeps you small. <laughs> right now. It, if you say so, you will be two stories tall and break through the roof. That's perfectly fine. I'm uh, going... But Jace is above you right now. Yeah. I'm going to yep. put you as this tall, because I think you're longer than you are wide. He is. As you jump through the roof. Uh, hey, Jace! <laughs> the ball with Jace. There's now just it's... open. It's like the ending of uh, Aladdin, where he, uh, he goes the big Jafar scene, and he like knocks off the top of it after wishing to be the uh, not not Saladin, the name of the fucking not Paladin. Jesus, why can't I think of the name of the Arabic ruler? Sultan. There we go. <laughs> As he, it cleaves the top off, and the, the storm's blowing. That's what's happening now. And you see the little ball with Jace start bouncing and rolling towards the edge. I like to think there's uh, they're just like little just... piddling bits of artillery hitting you right now. <laughs> well, you are I good. guess I'll reach a hand out and grab it. All right, free action. You pick up an object, being the Jace globe. <clears throat> and then my actual action will be applying temporary mutation onto Brick, um, Bryn, and Navaya. You all have wings. Oh, that's thanks I get. <laughs> Stay grounded. <laughs> Alright, if that's your action, I don't think you have a bonus. So I say, hold on, not wings. You have bloodlust. Oh. Or blood oh. frenzy. So what when it's at half health, you have advantage on every attack. Oh. oh. Why? Yes. Why? No. 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 What? Okay. Um. I might have to drop a second one of these fuck- No, I couldn't- It wouldn't do anything, because their main damage is still fucking negated. Uh, Gruck, is there anything you want to do chaos-wise? Not- Yes! Go ahead. Uh, well, I look at all- At all of my dear, dear minions, and, and my violent savior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bless him. I feel I haven't been contributing enough. 
I am a level 20. The 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 strongest the art sorcerer of the Gargan Kingdom. I guess time stop. <laughs> Roll me the uh, the die associated with it to see how many rounds you have as time freezes. And roll me. Doesn't have to do is do your my your D one hundred first. Well, now that the activator's off, he still gets his spell. It just might also go wild. Oh, okay. So as long as this is not below, it, oh, so close to triggering a surge. Mm-hmm. Now her D four plus one. Mm-hmm. That's how many rounds you have. Um. Uh, three rounds. Okay, and the uh, the spell ends if one of the actions you do during this period, or any effects that you create during this period, affects a creature other than you, or an object being worn or carried by someone other than you. Okay. All right. So three rounds. Three, three rounds. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Round one. Which is. So you're ending the first turn, and then you have the three additional ones part of time stop. Is there yes. anything you want to do with that? Tell me if there's anything you want to do with those bonus actions. Uh. Uh. You can oh, have four bonus the... actions, is what I'm saying. Go ahead. Uh, no, no. I, all I have is to push people, which would end it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, here, here's what I do. Um, I, I only really needed two of them, so we'll, we'll do it like this. Uh, I'm going to, ju just for, for the sake of Connor, I'm putting two delayed fa um, blast fireballs uh, to, to the back uh, right and left of this one. <laughs> How are you doing, too? Twin spell, Be, uh, assuming? You can't twin no, you spell can't. target. No, no, I have multiple, I have multiple, uh, multiple right. rounds. And, rounds. But they're concentration. They're, yeah, yeah and, and one goes off when, when one loses concentration. So as soon as I plant that second one, it's going to go off. And yep. then I, and then the other one's planted next to it, which I'm, uh, the, which on the, on, the, on the third turn or whatever the hell happens after that, I'll just gonna lose concentration on it. So pretty much, uh, all you see uh, is Greco. And what are you? <laughs> and, anything else you're doing, or just those? Uh, I guess. Uh, for, 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 well, no, no, you have one more action. It's a very. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I, I do. So I have to do it before I do those. Um, or if I still, if I'm able to do something after, then, I then after that I'll just because I'm I've just been the seventh level. And the eighth level to do this. Okay. <laughs> After spending my lent, my ninth level spells, so I I actually have to roll roll d twenty three times. <laughs> d hundred, yes. Uh, go ahead and launch those for me. Well, well, well no, no. The d the d twenties is for the chaos surges regularly. Ah, uh, well, hmm. I didn't know that was a thing that most people went by. Yeah. Hmm. It, uh, hang on. Uh, is it? Yeah, the normal way is it's only a one. <laughs> ah. Does roll. So. Interesting. I did not know it was something. <laughs> It was meant to oh, be. No. Yeah. Yeah, okay, just one. <laughs> so that, that that'll be like the, the the first or third thing I do. So let, let me just ro roll this. So you, you just hear him start screaming, and just explode. <laughs> and uh, some of you might 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 hear Zoward. <laughs> so the uh, giant chaos storm. Oh, whoops. Yep. Uh, go by the first one, 692. It's only 1,000. I thought it was a D10,000. Don't worry about it. Uh, so as you all are seeing this, you know that chaos storm that's brewing for the next four months? A giant yeah. bolt strikes down and hits Gruck, and it just resounds out with chaos energy as all these effects happen. Give me that D10,000, Pyro. Yeah, yeah, but I'll fix that. D10... 1... D... Four zeros. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Two six four two. Two six four two. Two six four two. And two, two. huge volumes of ectoplasm ooze from the caster's nostrils. Now, first, Connor, oh, uh, I would. I, I'm also going to say something. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to roll again, and I want you to tell me what it does, and I and I want to use the other one. <laughs> there. Launch it again. Two, three. You said I'm. You don't want ectoplasm 89. through your nostrils. I, I want to know my options. <laughs> 1894 is a huge earthen fist rises from the ground below the target point. I want to hit what? At the what? point where his fireballs hit, but the thing that went wild, the thing right next to the dragon. I want to. I, I want to hit the uh, the the dragon in the gonads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's his name? Mac uh, is BP. Yeah, that, it's literally that. 
<laughs> and you all see a giant fist as the tech floor below you all is ripped and compacted into a giant fist. As it whacks the dragon's pee pee. How would I even? Sk okay, it has two hundred health. <sighs> Roll me the so, damage uh, uh, for these. For I think it starts up at twelve d six. Yeah, so twelve d six. What does a seventh level giant magic fist do damage wise? Roll me those fireballs. Uh, that would be a big beast hand. No, no, oh. I, I'm, I'm saying it says a thirty-one. Well, it says huge. Forty-eight. <laughs> yeah, big beast hand is huge. Okay, I, th I heard gigantic. Thank so, what, so what is the, uh, what, what is big, big beast hand um, damage like for, for, for the punch they have to? Let's see. It yeah. does have damage. It, it does have yeah, damage for, does. for punch action. Hmm. Yes, it does. Big beast hand. I'm looking it up. So, uh, it's, good. <laughs> it's a good thing he's over here because he's just reading it electrical has, energy. It has a strength index. Uh, has a strength of 26. Grasping, interposing, I don't know. 4d8 force damage. Clenched fist. On a hit, the target takes 4d8 force ah. damage. At higher levels, when you cast this spell using a spell slot of 6th level or higher, the damage for the clenched fist option increases by 2d8. Should we do it by 68? 2d8. Or 2d6. D6, oh. Not d8. So. Okay. It so it uh, by 2d6 for every th level. Oh. No, hang on. No, oh, it's no, it, hand, my bad. hand is 2d6. So, so what do we want to do? Clenched fist is 2d8. Is d8. The spick spell. So uh, 6 or higher. Damage increases by 2 So it either goes up. So it's either... 68 or 8d8. Because he cast. What level is. He, he did it at 7th and 8th level for his Delay Blast Fireballs. Oh my god! Also, Connor, I want to use Heightened Spell. By all means! I want to use Heightened Spell, both of them. Uh, so it'll have disadvantage on it on its saves. It has to make a save? <laughs> it's Delayed Blast, right? So it, it thinks it's a deck save. <laughs> you have either 8d8 or 10d8. Do those. Now you got a DC 22. It fails both. Damn, why do you guys have such fat DCs? Mm -hmm. Man. He gave me uh, a rod of the Pact Keeper plus three. Yep. I, I, I'm, I'm ju juicing on, on the beard of an, of an elder demon monster yeah. so, uh, amalgamation. Roll me the 8D8 because I'll say it's the 8th level one. Okay. And this will be Fail it. force damage. It would be... If it's the 8th level one, it's 10d8. As the woman said, then. It is. Bailiff. You're right. Whack his pee -pee. Whack his pee -pee. <laughs> Another 38. The so you, all see, you all see lightning strikes Gruck and a like, Kamehameha beam of chaos splits off of him like three trails of magic missile. Two plant behind the dragon, then explode in fire uh, and knock the dragon's wings into it. And then as they're going in, a giant stone fist from a, th a third beam coming off him comes up from under the ground and uppercuts this thing right in the grundle. And this thing is looking fucking devastated. All hail the violent savior. Uh, Gruk, uh, you are now 50% e ethereal. You are almost, you are about to fully fade into the uh, Okay, this this is going to be over either on mine or Bryn's turn. I, I was going to say, you have one more round before you disappear, Gruck. <laughs> I've got eight attacks incoming. Oh, God. I had to, I had to use advantage. the slot at least once, Connor. <laughs> Nevaya. Yep. Alright. So. God, and you have advantage on your attacks from Blood Frenzy, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. If it has less than half of its hit points left. Sis, it has less than a third. It has less All than right. a quarter. It's... Then I'm going to call up my blade, which unfortunately does poison damage as an extra thing. But, oh, you know, no. I don't, it's, it's just extra damage. Maybe I'm going to rush it. 5, 10, 20, 25, 30. Just and I'm going to make a wackety whack. How... This is the first one. How did I not foresee Heroes Feast? 28. 28 hits. The necrotic is on there too. Yeah, it's halved. Yeah, it's okay. It's still there. Mm -hmm. This is my second wacky whack. 28. 28. Let me know if you Eldritch Smite on any of these. 
Yeah, I am going to actually. That's force damage, which means uh, it would be a fifth level spell slot. That would be my last <laughs> fifth level without using the rod. Uh, smite. So it's one. It is one d eight force damage plus another one d eight per level of the slot. So it's six. <sighs> Twenty five. Killing an ancient green dragon in one or like two turns. Yeah, Force last and twentieth level sorcerer. <laughs> All right, getting wounded. That is one. And it'll take an action to draw the spell slot back out from your staff. Bailiff, you know, how they work? That's already two attacks. I know. I'm just. You're out of spell slots I... at least for warlocks. That's what I'm holding I... on to. I cast fist. Oh, but I still have bard spell slots. I know. But I have up to third level, you bitch. I think there's a solid chance Brit kills this here, and if he somehow leaves it barely hanging on, and Bryn comes to snatch the chicken biscuit oh, yeah. out, I'm of him. not getting another turn. The, the violent savior. Eight attacks. There's no fucking way. Oh my, oh my god. god. Maybe we. Oh my god. The god. Yeah. Oh my savior. god. Yeah. Uh, Connor, ju just because I, I I need it to happen, um, that that nineteen there, um, make it a twenty-three. Well, I'm already at advantage, so I know. Yeah. Well, no, I wanted I want to. Damn it! Damn it. Are you wanting to surge one more time as you disappear? Just one more. I'll just let you one do more. That as you leave. Uh, yeah, I'm not adding. Did I kill it? You've killed it many times over. How do you want to do this, Brick? Yeah. Well, well, just you know. Oh, oh! I forgot my last attack. Oh, but that that makes a difference. Yep, there it is. <laughs> uh, let me just count these for one, two, I'm gonna go three, in. three, four, five. Yes. You know, That's he five. uses a halberd, so that... just a piercing strike. Pull down, swing it back and around and up, and just take its head off. Oh. So if you see on the picture, there's a gaping chest cavity on this dragon. We'll say that didn't exist before you stuck your halberd in, ripped up, and then cracked its skull open. <laughs> and... A violent sleep savior has clearly blessed you. <laughs> as you're glitching out, Grok, give me one last chaos surge. As uh, roll it, and I'll tell you what it does in a minute. As this thing drops, you see the essence of Jesse climb up and go. I, 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 I will. I know. I, 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 I floated over to her. Chaos reigns. Peasant! Burns away after the construct is destroyed as the Nurgle essence consumes her. Pee pee whack. Boom. Oh, good. The higher right. numbers are fun. Uh, tell, 53, tell, 17. Let's see. 53, tell me, tell me about both of them. I, I still have uh, controlling uh -huh. chaos. Uh, target can no longer conceal a fact that he's artificial. Um, so you can no longer con can hide the fact that you are. A monstrosity that was created rather than born. Yeah. Or 62, All right. 13. Uh, I don't think that was hidden. Yeah. No. 6213 is target is struck by lightning the next time he draws a weapon. So yes. uh, uh, so he, here's what happens as I get disintegrated. I I I I find a, a random piece of the the metal on the floor. That yeah. I I go over to find savior. <laughs> Are you proud of me, Papa? And I hold up the rapier and I just disintegrate. Yeah, the chaos bolt storm just. just and there's just dust on the ground. No just, it's just the, the it's the rapier, Papa, and then blow the fuck up. It's just a rapier <laughs> just sitting right there smoking. Your ears are ringing as you all are looking at this thing just got atomized by its own chaos storm. Bye. Well, that was something. Grok, you wake up on pandemonium. Huh? And you can headcanning your way into whatever the fuck you get into there. Yeah, but Connor, I missed just some, some, something there in case uh, I anyone wants to. I can't believe we just did this and I didn't use a single spell. Yeah. Sorry, you got cut to go up. Uh, there is all that remains is you said you wanted to leave behind the rapier. The rapier, and there's something next mm -hmm. to it too. <laughs> uh, on the blade of the rapier, there's just a single beard hair. Awful. Destroy and, it. So what do you want to do with the hamster ball globe filled with Jace, who is still floating like he's in a back to tank? Uh, try and how do we release him? Ed, who knows? 
Uh, don't I have to smell that? Can I just... Can I just try to, you know, pop it with the tip of my halberd? If they'll let you. Uh, I'm going to try to dispel magic. <clears throat> he starts slowly drowning now as he's suspended in fluid with no longer magically being respirated. He okay, he's going to just try to pull him out then. You pull these, like... I'm going to try and pop it. Two and a half foot long tubes out of his throat. <sighs> <laughs> uh, that was you, not fun. Case is you got dripping wet in whatever this fluid you, was. You got some explaining to do, my guy. I only feel pain. That yeah, is good. you're about to feel so much worse. Nevaeh just ten gold. him on the head with her fist. Ow! What? What the hell was that about the color orange? You bitch. Hmm? The, the color orange, I don't know. It's I am a... forcing you into therapy. No. no yes. You can't make me go. Oh, you, I absolutely You owe me 10,000 gold. Who the fuck are you? You owe me therapy. You got fucking <laughs> trapped by someone who was apparently born of you. Dumbass. Wisdom oh. save, Jace. You will go to therapy. <laughs> I actually did import his. <laughs> I imported his character sheet, and the off chance he had to make any saves. <laughs> Wait, Go I to there. I'm gonna use this on my ninth level. Spot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll go to monthly therapy sessions. Daily therapy. Is that is what is that a save of? Daily is therapy. Them? Oh no. He's I not. He's ninth level. He's not getting Brinzora for this. He's get, he's got a plus Daily. zero to it, and all that supports him is he can use Flash of Genius on and get a plus eight. Doesn't fucking nope. matter. <laughs> Daily therapy, Jace. You are forever damned to go to therapy. <laughs> so as you, he's like, you can't make me. Skolo leans down and goes, "You will go to therapy." As you see a ninth level druid's magic wrap around the mind of Jason, he goes, "I will go to therapy." As you blinks and looks, damn it, goes, I don't wanna. Fine. So I guess I'll like, go. Yeah. Good. Help me up. I think my body is just from the neck down. I can't move right now. Oh, okay. Just picked you up with a finger. Yeah. Also, when the fuck did you get this big skull? Up? Also, it's... where the fuck is the rest of my tower? Why is my burnt frog in here? <laughs> a lot of shit happened, dude. You got trapped in a bubble. She came down in a bubble, Doug. Um, but you got trapped in a bubble by someone who was apparently born of you. So I guess your fail safes went off, and we got contacted. So we came to rescue did she, you. Did she survive? Uh, no. 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 That's probably for the best. I had made it. She was. Her name. Well, I didn't really give her a name. She just kind of. Jesse. Yeah. Wait. I had she named herself. Bill. Yeah, I had been. She said it was based off of you. I got lonely oh, so. and decided to make an assistant, and so she basically just kind of. She wasn't really all that intelligent. She just kind of followed commands. I'd ask her like, "Hey, get me this, get me that," and it solved the feeling of feeling like I was in this giant tower alone. And then she evolved intelligence, and she evolved it from my line of thinking, so it didn't go too well. Oh, that doesn't hit. Well, he, he's paralyzed. I'll let you hit, just not very hard. I just your slap him. Standard mistakes <laughs> aside, there's something locked under your tower that's very angry. Pardon? There's nothing down there. I've checked multiple times. There's nothing below the tower. Nothing could no. be living. It's inhospitable. Perhaps it didn't show itself to you, but it showed itself to us. Definitely something down there, dude. Bullshit. Yeah, it was rude. Show me. Ha! <laughs> You can't even walk. You want us to show you something that wanted to kill us? I will pick him up like a fucking bowling ball. He's still in Solo's arms. <laughs> and I will drag him downstairs. Really high up in the air. <laughs> out, 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 out. <laughs> on the stairs. As you all get down there, there is no uh, thing. See, I fucking told you, there's nothing here. There is some weird well, ass shadow. It's actually a little worse there. then. If it's not you know, here, where the fuck would it go? Fun. I don't want it. There is something in the dark that you all see, because Jace doesn't have dark vision. There is a phrase. Or a word, rather. Just What does it say? Unchained. Uh, 
whatever. I would cast comprehend languages if I needed to. If no one can read Abyssal. It says Unchained on that back wall. Yeah. Great. Did it, did it go into the plane of water? That's what I assume, because there's a portal that goes to the plane you of water. You echo back here. to its words that it would one day find and consume you all, and you are put at no ease to the fact that you don't know where it's gone. Jace, there's a word that you can't see because you're a feeble little human that can't see in the dark. Ah, it says Unchained. And you evolved. Yeah. You still I can't see in the him. dark. I can't feel it, so... You still owe me 10,000 gold. I don't know you. I owe you nothing. Then he I'll kill you. He came and helped us, dude. I, he hey, came and helped us point. find you. Has he... Did, I mean, is your problem down here? Did you hide him specifically from the fact that his vault door is swung open? No. I didn't show it to him. He would have seen it then as you were going down and been like, yeah, so what happened to my vault door then with all my gold? I opened it and helped myself to my opening fee. You fucker. Completing the job is 10k. You... Guys, back me up. This is unreasonable, right? No. I'm not the I'm one not... that found him. Talk not... to your frog friend. I'm not the one that dissed my color, my color scheme, my whole fucking scheme. It's just I'm... then that he figures out what you're talking about. Ah, uh, Skolo, you'll back me up, right? He looks up. Skolo just looks at him. <laughs> Fine, you can have Look, your gold. I'm here because I actually care about you. He's here because he's a mercenary. By the way, so did I see Sparks in the Warpstone that. Collector in the lab as we were going down? Um, Probably. Yes. You need to fucking, you need to fucking take care of your shit, bud. It was taken care of before I was put in a bubble for a month. Well, maybe you shouldn't have created someone that was going to put you in a bubble for a month. Yeah. I'm sorry. The normal people have to you should visit your friends when you're feeling lonely instead of building robots. Yeah, what? Normal people just go out I, instead he, of building a stupid AI. He has a look on this face of the, like, when your mom makes a really good point and you don't have a comeback. And, goes, I, and okay. now you have no choice. So. I, I promise to keep more people around. Or you can just come visit us. I just, We're not hard to find. I just... I'm not the best with the whole best friendship best business. I never know oh. when it's okay to oh. meet up. Okay. I, I Look, just assume I, when you're I, busy. I, you have access I bring, to I bring, I bring you ale all the fucking time. Y yeah, I just assumed that was like a, a contract thing. Like, uh, you had to do that. Why? When did you ever make a contract? I don't know. God. And you will do actually That's have the sending stone that came in the box, uh, but there are, he can get you each a private sending stone to his like communications room, which was in a tech lab, wow. which as he goes up and goes, God damn it. Because all of his contacts are now essentially gone. The, those sending stones are scattered to the winds and he's got to go hunt them down and be like, hello, who's on the other line of the sending stone? Thank you. For all the people. You can just, you can just New mess stone, who and dis? Like, Yes. Hey, are you busy right now? Are the you faint, on a fucking quest? The faint sound because of artillery is heard God, again. The sometimes distances. Arya and I are just sitting around our house baking. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, or writing music. I'm not always busy. You can come over, asshole. I'll try and coordinate. I'm sorry. And it's then that you do hear the gog saying, Fire! Oh my god, you don't even have to coordinate, just fucking show up. Okay. I have a lot of time on my hands, as you can take. I did plan on journeying around, and I do feel there is... I do want to show you all something kind of cool. As you see, he can now move his fingers. You can wiggle your fingers! Dragon That's claws. wonderful! Stick out of the ends of his fingers. Ha-ha! What? Draconic claws. Like of us is Not entirely sure where they came from, but I have them, and I don't know if it's going to evolve past this. Mm. All right, now to pull the mech in. Shit. Hmm. Do I need to walk home, or can you like teleport me? Uh, you've seen the door. Oh, let me turn off yeah. the minefield. Take me to the. There are frogs. No, no, no! Leave them. Leave them. Up. Leave it open. Leave it open. I, how do you all leave? 
Well, I mean, we can turn it off later. Let's just kill off the frogs first. Do you have first. a destination you'd like to go, Brick? Where does Brick live? Um, <laughs> my main headquarters is in... Mm -hmm. at, and the name of the town that uh, Broken Spear rules. <laughs> Broken Spears. Uh, all right. When I have been there before, Pyro. <laughs> Granted, I'm that I've been wandering around. So you send him off to Broken Spears Town, with I'm oh, assuming transport, transport like via plane. Yeah. yeah. You send him away, and as you all sit Jace down, he's like, "So which one I like I to give stay the for obligatory ten percent to Broken Spear." Uh huh. <laughs> Do you explain? Oh yeah, there's this fucker with a giant tower in the distance. I want to keep an eye. No, Broken Spear doesn't ask questions. Okay. You drop your golden go. Jace will say to the other three of you, like, so would you all like to stay for dinner? Yes. Sure. You owe us that. I... Hey, Roast Frog. Give me a moment Can you to even to... cook right now? That's what I was about to try and figure out. <laughs> nope, I cannot move. Oh. I've got a solution. Uh, my metabolism, thank but... you. I, if you need Look. any, if you need to know where anything is, just ask. I'll point it out. And you all what? enjoy a lovely dinner in the very broken Whitleaf Tower. Yes, yeah, if, if Bryn was about to offer, I can go get takeout from looters. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> here, uh, take some money from the fa from the vault, and uh, pay for it. <laughs> uh, so catered looters comes into the tower. Sure. Unless you particularly want to cook, Navaya. I can uh, cook. It doesn't matter. Bill, Bill what? I, I've been muted for the last five minutes because I've just been cackling because I think that <laughs> Gruck is now just canonical about Belisario's call to your Gilliman. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Behold, the Primaris fro Frog Stupings. Oh. oh, no. Frog Stupings. So, as we finish... You all sit down and have a nice meal. Jace has regained enough control over himself where he has a little vine prosthesis come off and like grab his fork and feed himself. And you all enjoy what is eventually get recovers to be a very lovely evening and very much have a stern conversation with Jace about his defense mechanisms. While maybe yep. effective, maybe need to be a little bit easier for you all to get around them. Yeah, he's 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 just like I I hope I hope you put the radiant energy magnet on because you know I could turn my radiant energy into fire, right? You knew that, right? You see, it just clicks in his head, and he lies and says, "Yeah, I knew the whole time. That's why I planned for you to get around it." Yeah, you absolutely didn't know, jackass. Above his head, because he has such a low charisma, you see this man is lying, just in ethereal writing, just. Yep. He has a negative one charisma and a plus eight intelligence. I cannot explain how he works better than that. Well, I mean, good job. And on that awkward note, we <laughs> conclude our dungeon of the assault on Whitleaf Tower as construction re-begins, as Jace finishes fixing the broken upper levels, and having a therapist move into the tower as well as a uh, research team and uh, drawing scholars from all around to help with his projects and keep the tower There we go. Out. Also mandatory. Hopefully he doesn't fall in love with this therapist. A month, hmm? At least call Scolo for a Scolo therapy. Oh, session. he very much keeps in touch with all of you all. Uh, like a uh, very yep. kind of like neurodivergent style. Like once a week you all get at the like almost the exact same time a call from Jay saying, hi, how are you? Would you like to hang out sometime soon? Yes. Cool. Time, date, and uh, preferred uh, recreation. Just that. You're a dumbass. Just come over. Okay. It just, it's that. That's, that's his thing. And he comes and enjoys himself. The tower is built up, has the research institution built with it, and you all are welcome to ever ask him for, like, hey, can I get this magic item? And if he ever says no, you just say, hey, remember the time I almost died coming to save your ass? And he's forced to. Yeah. So, that wraps up our two shot. Hope you all had a great time. I can't. And this is posted shortly. I can't believe I missed it. It was a good time. 
I, I can't believe I actually, ma uh, I actually <laughs> made Bill Sarius call. Ganon, I, I hate myself. <laughs> well, now it's it has to be Billisarius call. <laughs> Billis, Grukasarius <laughs> call. Well, so, Grak, I, I do want to say just a little bit of fun notes. Yes. What do you do on Pandemonium? As you get there and pick up the warped magic crystal, <laughs> you grab it and it warps into a staff. Uh, create great monuments to the uh, uh, non-violent savior, the great fro uh, fro frog emperor. Uh, create many statues, make them come alive. Um, uh, he he also divides by uh, divides by by zero and creates super frogs mm -hmm. and just experiments constantly for the next I don't know five hundred years. Yep, Bryn, <clears throat> Bryn, Bryn uh, in human or god form is going to smite any anything. It's too stupid. He makes. So, uh, they're so, all asleep for the next uh, until until because he's constantly scrying into the prime material, <laughs> just yeah. waiting for for the With word. His horrid warp stone. <laughs> it drives mild insanity, and usually only views pandemonium. But on the plane, he can look anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so, just little bits of insanity leak in as he's scrying on things, and it's mm -hmm. very apparent because there's chaos bursts that appear as he scries. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he's object. going to be a, in, in in terms of power, he's going to be a minor go uh, god of discord. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. As he thinks, oh, we'll not get along with that <laughs> chaos bursts at random when he scribes and shit. Yeah, so you're just there, and he's like, "Oh, that's a neat eye. Why is it arcing lightning? Oh god, my magic! Oh god!" Yeah, uh, he's gonna be a bit, he's gonna, yeah, he he has eventually begins to be talked about like a uh, magical bo boogeyman. Neat. Wait, Which will you... definitely. Uh, mm, yeah. I, I, I forgot to. I meant to sh I say this. I just occurred to me. Remember, I've been pestering you, Pyro, for the name of the moons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I forgot yeah. to say them. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, God. I am rapidly scrolling up. I was going to ask you if you were going to make those uh, constellations canon. Or if they I mean, uh, sure. Uh, uh, I'm. The slumbering one wouldn't be yeah. Ocelia. Okay. I think I uh, I think I've already said it. Someone is asleep. Yeah, I, off I was, somewhere. I was like, also, Fisher Sean is like sleep a lot. So yeah. That's, yeah. I thought the Great Worm was the Abyssal Drake at first. Uh, uh, the moons, so that it's recorded in history, and Pyro can't just change them later. Uh, mm -hmm. I messaged him so that when you all were looking up uh, another length of anything, I was going to have you all find the constellations. Um, the the he, the name of the sun is called Eval, and there are two moons, Vera and Alice, or Alus. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And yeah. Mm. I, I will post them in chat. <laughs> so I hope you're happy, Pyro. We give you some more fucking lore. Well, now I have some more frog stories, some uh, so subcultures to create. And I do have an important question: Who had the deck of magic? Mm -hmm. Nope. I left it on uh, the floor. Yeah, no one. Gr uh, gr if Grug had even an inch, you you he, 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 he'd eat it. No, we wouldn't let you. Well, if you will find it there, uh -huh. Jace will throw it back in the deepest hole he can find. How about we do a roll off for it? I, 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 I'll do this. As All right. God powers Athletics rain. check for me to be able to grab we'll it. Bury it while he goes under the ocean. D one hundreds. D one hundreds. And I'm gonna roll for the. It ends up getting lost and Jace finds it. Uh, would uh, Connor decide we, 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 we want high numbers? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been going off of, and uh, I think me <laughs> time for you and Brick. I think uh, we roll again. I think yeah. we roll again. Wait, what are you guys even fighting over? I just on who played that whole many things. Who roll? Give it, the, give it to the gold. Just roll, They'll Bren. rip themselves apart with it. Okay. And every gonna... like twentieth one will get a wish. It's perfect. Okay. We can't have a gold with a wish. Roll. Okay, I'll roll. Maya. We don't need another violent savior that's more violent. Spawn. What are we rolling for? Who gets the goddamn book? Okay, I don't want it. Brock and I. I don't want it. Go, ahead, Go on. Eighty-six. Damn it. <laughs> so Brick. Ah, uh, good. R to random it. fighter, Chan. Oh, which fits because you were looking for powerful things to sell. You have no idea what the fuck this is. 
Oh no. You take it to a random merchant and he offers you like... No. No. Oh. If it's powerful enough. He works for Broken Spear. Uh -huh. Oh god damn it. You're giving it to the junkie! <laughs> Broken Spear is not a junkie. He, he is, is a junkie. A... No, he's not a junkie. <laughs> he is a potion junkie. My character, shut up. Mm -hmm. he, I'm <laughs> gone and he Norman. chugged potions like, a, like an addict. <laughs> Continue, Norman. What do you do with the book? Go ahead. The deck? He would offer it to Broken Spear to get out of his contract. I God feel like it. it's powerful enough to do so. Uh, and now Broken Spear is in possession of this horrible thing. The good news is Broken Spear is a collector. Mm -hmm. He's not curious. Like he would cat. put it on a shelf and just put it to the side. Oh, good. How old? Uh, how old would uh, would Broken Spear be again? Because he's a big maxable monk. Uh, do monk monks get that eternal body thing? They live for they, fucking. They... Yeah, I'm, I'm asking because the, the campaign starts in 500 years, and I, now I need to think how how long he has. Broken it. Spear was because uh, let me go with my, my yeah. Let me go with with my train of thought real quick. If you die, that's going to Broken Chain. <laughs> Isn't Broken going Chain to... dead? Yes. You went and had him resurrected. <laughs> what? Of course he did. He's that's the whole reason he he he, he tracked y'all down and, and yeah, canonically thing, kill, uh, and I killed uh, B Balthazar. I didn't even get to use my level twenty ability. Fuck. Uh, Sucks. I didn't get to use a yeah, single goddamn thing. You want to see, you wanna see so, what I wasn't able to use? I was never able to use that. Oh, you poor thing. Um, nice. He a Broken Spear suffers none of the frailty of old age, but he still dies of it. So he just is perfectly healthy one day, then dies in his sleep immediately. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no. Broken Spear yep. would just leave it, and then whatever Chain decides to do with it, Chain does. We could all well, actually. Well, well, actually, Chain di uh, uh, dies before you. You 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 outlive your kid. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe his like great great gr gr grandkid. <laughs> great great grandkitten. I mean, yeah. uh, Broken Spear likes kids yeah. he would adopt